came up to me um, at the end of what, in my mind, was a full role playing episode. Yep, you you thought you could do it, but... <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> I oh. was like, David had that at all, <laughs> and he was like, you only made one mistake, and I was thinking, I'm like. What, what did you what do wrong? What possibly could I have done wrong? <laughs> we didn't roll any die. I didn't even exactly. I didn't, Wait, David, what did he do? What, what was the what was the error? Days Tell of the him. week. Come on. <laughs> Please, basic, basic. Oh, you said wheel, wheel the day. Yeah, that's all pre. No, no, no. That's all pre gap pre- stuff. Oh, oh. yeah. The, the days that's are they're more like numbered. Where like Wednesday oh. is third day. Oh. Thursday oh. is fourth day. That's confusing. Oh. That's actually how that's, that's how it... camp these days work. It's like day one, day two, yeah. day three, day four. It makes a lot of sense. Wait, but when does it well, stop? I'm, I'm counting these days right Sunday. now. Seventh day. <laughs> Seventh one day, yeah, two day. Yeah. Uh, Why first they... day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day. Well, um, that's stupid. <laughs> I agree. If I, you don't watch like if you watch it like Deep Space Nine, they don't say like what day is it? It's like oh, it's. It's two day. Actually, they, <laughs> they say star date and then a bunch of numbers. Right, they say the star date, but that's like sounds way cooler. But well, that's like a who's on yeah. first day. It's two day. I know it's two day, but yeah. <laughs> it's tomorrow day. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I let it slide. Uh, it, it pained you me. You didn't let it slide because yeah. you talked to him about it. <laughs> <laughs> you let it slide <laughs> off air. Us. Yeah. I took, at least I took him aside. And <laughs> it did. It, did. it very, very yeah, casually yeah. pulled me aside. I say we change the lore. <laughs> Sure. We'll make I up say, our own names for these things. Yeah. What do you want to call Wednesday. Friday? Yeah. Skid, right now on the spot. No, do it like the Galarian days of the calendar. Fire Because I spent a lot of time Fire learning Fire day. It. Yeah, I spent a lot of time. Look, I was keeping a calendar for, uh, for Raiders of the Lost Continent. I spent a lot you of time. You said was. I was. I stopped. You know the show's still up. I know. <laughs> I did that calendar game myself. It's a tough racket. It's a tough yeah. racket. It's a tough racket. It's impossible to keep a calendar of your game. Yeah. David, I bet you got 20 calendars yeah, going for all your maybe. games. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. That's a yes. Maybe. Damn it. That's a David yes. Like, yeah. like in the Valley, no. That's a David yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's point out that this is all Ellie's fault, though. Whoa, for... whoa, whoa. Yep. whoa. Yes. I, I'm, I'm, with, you all, I'm with you already. No, 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 no. Wait. Well, I the worry. new guy's you piling asked. on honor, too. <laughs> No, this is not what's supposed gets, to happen. He gets the corporate David, culture here. Yeah, I, I thought that's just what we do here. David, <laughs> I was Team David. I was hashtag Team David. Are you I'm still? No. Are you still? No. no, no. What, a, what a fair <laughs> weathered friend. Hashtag uh, David's canceled. Yes. Oh exactly. yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. So I've had enough of this cancel culture. <laughs> wow. Exactly. I enough. will not apologize. Yeah, David. I'm, I'm Team Sydney actually. Oh. Wow. And oh. also Team this cool hat I'm wearing. I have been wanting to talk about it for like two months now because Kid gave it to me a couple of episodes back. And hold on. Which ship yeah, yeah, is it? Get out there. Sorry. So sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot my own strength. If you're just listening at home, Grant just pulled out most of her hair. <laughs> She looks like a Barbie doll that was given to an angry child. He's holding a clump of blonde hair in his Oops. meaty hands. Grant, sorry! <laughs> I'm looking up online wig charities right now. Uh, oh, wow. So I can ship it out to Sacramento. But I, I bought this hat for myself months ago. Oh. Uh, not, but but I, my, my head is like too giant. Yeah. I can't I can't wear it and I thought but it to would fit in I an thought officer's it was, hat yeah. yeah it would look amazing on Ellie it is it is a, a hat of a crew member from the Nostromo from the movie Alien yes oh. it is See, awesome. actually that looks to be the hat of the captain <gasps> I think they all had it. Is that like yeah. the regalia of yeah. the captain? The, well, the, those, that's oh, a, the, oh, the uh, wings. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. command officer. What's wow. funny yeah. is Leaves. before recording, Leaves. Ellie mentioned a hat, but I think I thought you said mask, and she goes, it's an alien mask <laughs> that I'm going to wear. Was like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, I was like, that's... Oh, it's that kind of game. <laughs> no, I was like, that's really fun because like cosplay is, is fun, you know, yeah, and like yeah. for a show like this, especially, it's you could get real wild. So I was like, oh shit, Ellie's wearing like a cool alien mask? Mm-hmm. Why didn't I bring anything? Right. But now I feel less bad because it's a really cool hat, but you didn't go all out. No, no, no. Not yet. Not, not, yet. not, not yet. yet. We Keyword. don't know what's going to happen. Keyword but the yet. cosplay <laughs> is on the table. Oh, boy. Oh, There's, there might be. Shave your head. Yeah, I don't know if you know Shave this, but Troy is, <laughs> Troy's a huge cosplay yep. fan. Love it. <laughs> Why are you trying to alienate people? Don't yuck anybody else's yum. No man, listen. No, listen. Don't I, yuck their I think yum. it's great. I just, I, I want us to be different. Why are you harsh in everyone's buzz? You want, you dress up, and I'll make a decision after I see you all <laughs> dressed up. Just you, man. Dressed hey, up as a fancy <laughs> elf. He was rolling around on the floor for feelings last That's week, true. and come on, he'll dress up. Glass cannon, Nash. 
send in your send in your suggestions for what costume I should wear. Oh, oh wow. yes. make it something sexy. Well, this is how this this is how this goes. Oh dear. Yep, it's only a couple of weeks before we're everybody else. <laughs> No, it's only Matthew. <laughs> if it were a Starfleet uniform circa Wrath of Khan, I wouldn't do no, that. No, don't stop feeding him. You're going to be a <laughs> wow. fancy whatever. They're coming um, through now, Khan. <laughs> That'd be so cool. I would love to see Matthew in that. Cool. I just want to be able to like take to unclip yeah, you the unclip the top of the tunic. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's so I cool. want that you in a best. bustier. I can wear it underneath. Yeah. When I unclip the tunic, <laughs> you'll see. be a serving wench. Matthew would look great in anything. <laughs> he Aww. would. He would. That's true. You are the Thanks, handsome one. Oh, oh I, wow. Not, oh. That's actually, wow. that's especially early on. We got a lot of emails of people saying they had so the big crushes on Matthew. Which you is know. odd because our pictures didn't come out for years. So it's just uh, yeah, I don't, it was You know, there was an early bottle cap that never made it to market, which was Matthew's NYU headshot. Oh. What? Because <laughs> he's so wow. beautiful. Wow, that's the rarest that's one. True. Yeah. Wow. We should auction. It is Wait, true. Which headshot? It, uh, it's an old headshot of you just black looking. and white. No, oh, yeah. yeah. no, no, I'm looking across the He's room like at Anne, who's just laughing at me. black and white headshot. And <laughs> leaked, and leaked your headshot. And, and this is why he, <laughs> he has no social media. That's right. Oh, I got it right here. Just Google Matthew Capitacasa. It's the first stupid image that comes up. <laughs> it's the one with the. I think it's a green. Shirt he looks like a teenage <laughs> werewolf. <laughs> Wait, you got to coming out to play today. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> No, oh this. my God! Oh, the, oh, no, it's, it's that, that look one. At this I know son that of a one. Gun, huh? That's it. That's <laughs> it. Oh, that's it. Look at that smoldering oh. look. Look at this idiot. That, wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, wow. I still use that headshot because I haven't gotten new one. That's right. Hey, wow. you know what's awesome? The fourth picture is his uh, Androids and Aliens interview. Oh, a yes. still Ooh. from his Androids and Aliens interview. Yeah. You know what though, Matthew? In I'm this Matthew headshot. Matthew <laughs> For those listening at home, Troy is holding up his computer in front of his face. In that, I have a comment for everything. <laughs> I never laugh until I get home. <laughs> I must, I must, How did you know? <laughs> I must say that I'm so I'm so happy. You know, you know when you're like, there's, you're, you're, there's two bullied kids, and then like one one kid gets bullied and the other kid doesn't for once. And I'm actually I'm sorry, Matthew, but I'm so happy it's not me. Matt, no, but it's also you. Can, I don't feel that way. It's your first to you. <laughs> yes, oh. you do, Matthew. I know. I've read your diary. Matthew, in that headshot, you look younger than Callum, Sydney's character. Like you look like you're ten years old. It's amazing. You have whole little, life little do you guys know. Uh, That's the, age the of actor maturity. who I based Callum off <laughs> is Matthew. Matthew oh, <laughs> it's about time. I'm lying. I'm yes, absolutely thanks. lying. Oh, no, I God. think you got a wreck on it though now. <laughs> well, okay. Can I say who I actually based it off? Of course, there, yes. there's an act, isn't real it, quick. There's one actor from Battlestar Galactica named Callum something. Oh no so, way! No, I have Callum no idea. Rennie. Callum Rennie, right? But that's Too but he's an funny. old man. Oh, oh right. Who does he play? In who did you base it on? Is he the EXO? No, he's I Leo based Oben. it on oh. um. If you guys have seen mid nineties. Uh, uh -huh. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Sonny oh, yes. Suljic, who's the main young actor in it. I based it off of him. I love that movie. There's a picture of him with a black eye, and I was like. If that ain't Callum. He's amazing in that movie. That's what's a great movie. Sonny Suljic, I think is how it's how you say it. Last name S. Oh, there yeah. it is. Yes, Sonny. Yeah, J-I-C. Oh, look at that. Wow, that is not. Wow, oh. this changes everything. If you're if you're at home right now, look this up. Oh, I know this kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Geez. Picture oh, wow. longer is... hair and a little oh, bit older. Oh, that, the He's movie so that uh, Jonah Hill directed. Jonah Hill directed. directed yeah. Oh, I did see that. That was great. A good yeah. movie, too. Such yeah. That's Skateboarders really good movie. in the West Coast. Yep. Yeah. He is exactly 14 years old. Oh, is he really? Nailed it. Nailed, Nailed it. it. Nailed Although it. in Nailed mid '90s it. he must have been like 13 or 12. Yeah, he yeah he's, he's, right. he's very. So you really screwed up, Grant. Wow. Wow, Grant. Look up a what current hell, Getty <laughs> image of him. Grant. Why don't you? <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Good thing this table's wide. Uh, <laughs> Grant, Grant is trying to like reach across the table. With yeah, his and big he can. He For people can. who aren't watching live, Grant's trying to choke like across the yeah, table. He, right? he very aggressively <laughs> leaned yeah. across the table. Lunch. 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 He's lunch. Made a choking lunch. motion. No, yeah, <laughs> use the word lunch. lunch. I'd say lunch is accurate. Yeah. Using the force. Ugh. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right for her hair, like Ellie. Yeah. What the you heck? You want to add it to his collection. <laughs> collection. <laughs> oh. He goes just, home and just combs it. <laughs> Beautiful hair. Yes. I have all soon. these Barbies that are ha have their heads shaved off, and I just reattach it's like soon. Ellie's hair. And yes. soon Sydney's will be mine. <laughs> he, that, that, okay. ex that explains okay. why all I woke right. up in the hotel at the last Glass Cannon Live to Grant just petting my head. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, that's why that happened. A chunk. He was snoring at the time. I was so actually I, whis I was actually whispering in your ear. Let it grow. Oh. <laughs> Let it grow. Guys, Let it grow. <laughs> let's get back to the game. Okay. Stop this. Tom Foolery. 
I really like the tomfoolery. Last time, well, there's plenty of time for that. <clears throat> got to do longer episodes now. <clears throat> um, last time we we took a step back, and we saw a little bit of what happened to PG. Yeah, but but like finally? No, I mean like not finally, we but saw like the last time we would ever see PG. <laughs> no, we saw no, her being me... uh, lasered from abdomen to neck, screaming, and then we're introduced to Linnea Donovan, someone who we've seen via flashback, obviously, uh, episode eighty-one, eighty-two, I think. I can't remember, but anyways, we see her receive a note in her apartment on Absalom Station, saying that uh, it's, it's a picture of her mom, the flyer that's all around town, remember. And it says the Drift Rock Five knows more than they're saying. The truth lies here in a set of coordinates. Those coordinates we now know lead to the Najir system, lead to Istamak. You try to get there, there's a fight in the drift. You end up diverting all power to the drift engine to get out of there to save your life, but you wreck your ship in the meantime. You're just floating in space until the trusty crew of the Rusty Rivet come by and save you for a price. They take your ship, but when they find out when you want to go all the way to the Najior system, they're going to need a little bit more. You say, call my uncle. He's in the beauty business. <laughs> <laughs> beauty and serum business. <laughs> He's in the beauty business. He's in big serum. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, it's so... I had this whole idea, and then it just like, when Phil Donovan That's came out, I was like, Phil well, Donovan. Well, it makes me think of The Simpsons, where it's like, we run the grease business in this town. They take a shovel, hit him with the head of it. It's like, That's my shovel. It's like, You run the shovel business too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Acme Grease and Shovel. Is <laughs> I can just picture Phil Donovan's business cards. Yeah. It's Phil Donovan. Beauty business. Be a beauty and syrup. Beauty and I syrup. mean, really, it was his corporate innovation. This top down, top down restructuring of the two industries so that he could yeah. use the maple products as beauty products and the beauty products as maple products. He's on the cover of Space Forbes. <laughs> He's an importer exporter. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what the hell we were talking about. But she says, all right, well, we have some other cargo on this ship and you find out that the other cargo is another person who the rusty rivet took on in a very similar situation to yours the difference being it's a young boy a 14 year old uh, Vrifani boy mm -hmm. she says I'll we'll look into this uncle and if things work out then maybe we'll take you out there you meet this boy and you find out his story and it's sad it's tragic and even though you, Linnea, don't have what you would call experience with children, maybe you're not comfortable around children or teenagers, um, there's something that strikes a chord in you and you say, come with me. Don't go to Broken Rock. I know what Broken Rock is like and you don't want that life. Come with me, help me in my mission, and then I'll take you back and my Uncle Phil, like, yeah. <laughs> with a, I didn't with mention Uncle. I did not mention In the beauty him. business. In the beauty did business. Did not mention You him. go far, kid. You go far, kid. Uh, I believe he heard social media manager was yeah. Uh, yeah. on the horizon. On the table. There was a summer I worked in the beauty business. <laughs> <laughs> this is a true this Matthew? Is a true story. Matthew or? Please. Really? Please. You worked for Maybelline? No, for, I won't say what I worked for, but no. But So they they made fragrances. And Estee Lauder. Lancome. But they were real. <laughs> Just keep guessing. And I was one of the few. The card Don't check it down. I was one of the few people <laughs> with both three. an X and Y chromosome in the office. And apparently that is very valuable because they need to test those fragrances on actual skin. Aqua de Jo. So they would, they would come, they literally would pop into the office. I was working, I was, I was in the IT department. And they would pop into the IT office and they'd be like, can we use your skin? And then they would spray different, like, different. You know, like patch test wow. you. They would be like spray, 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 spray. Different varieties of yeah. like the same, the same oh, fragrance. Horrible rashes. Wow. And they would, and they would, they would take my arm and they would, go, they would, go, they, would they would grab it and be like, oh god, no, that's putrid. Oh. <laughs> it would be like, it would be like ten o'clock. Like that's, I'm sorry, that's my natural scent. Oh, right. right. so right. right. you, you're like, you actually sprayed this off. <laughs> <laughs> but like it smells like salami. Like, uh, <laughs> Why does it I'm all sorry. smell like salami? <laughs> Everything Why does it all smell like salami? That's gabagool to you. <laughs> <laughs> it smells you like, like your mama's gravy. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did work for S.A. Lauder. Did you really? I was the assistant to the assistant to Leonard Lauder, who was Estee Lauder's son. 
and the assistant to his wife was Malik Pancholi, who played uh, Jonathan. Alec Baldwin's assistant, Jonathan, on 30 Rock. Wow. Oh months months gosh. after I left that job, he got the gig on 30. Everyone else is playing checkers and Skid's playing 3D chess. And I knew the assistant to a louder. So you might know him as well. Who? We'll talk about this after okay. the show. Wow. And Troy wow. was on 30 Rock. That Troy That's was right. on 30 Rock. That's right. That's right. See now. And deleted scene. The way this would work out in a flashback is uh, the uh, Ron Lauder's assistant comes to Skid. Oh, Ron, says, Ron Lauder, yeah. Yeah, and says, okay. hey, can you, uh, can you go down to IT and find that hairy kid? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just uh, see if somebody can spray stuff on him. And you're like... Right away, sir. And you go to the and like go to that Harry kid again. And then they walk in. And it was skid the whole time. It was skid yeah. the whole time. It's like glass cannon origins. Wow. Story. Sending down orders. <laughs> Who knew that that was the link? <laughs> <laughs> That's no one would have guessed. <laughs> Amazing. Those are gravy. Um, <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you. I don't even know. But basically, uh, the next day, Alara Aquana, captain uh, of the Rusty Rivet, of the free captains of the Diaspora, says to you. Suffice it to say, a deal has been made. We'll take you where you want to go. Uh, and then we're coming back to Broken Rock and uh, delivering you, Callum, and all our other shit, including your ship. Um, cool, and you're still not cool with this, and you're pres not pressuring Callum, but you're just letting Callum know there might be another way. And Callum, I felt like, was a little overwhelmed by all of this. Definitely. And you're yeah. left wondering what's going to happen. We move forward in time all the way to book six. Then we, then we backtrack a little bit and we get to the floating island on which the Securitech building lies on Little Eastamon. Dr. Friss, Qualo, Kreska, Dax, all standing there. The grass starts shaking and you see the rusty rivet. Captain K, your transponder beeps. Beep, 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 beep. Transponder. Hello. Shut up. I don't know. <laughs> fucking cell phone. Beeps. Intercom. I don't know. Intercom. Your electrocardiogram. This is the new cell uh, phone. What's wrong with transponder? Your like radiator. Sh word. Okay, boomer. Signature. Oh. This is the new, uh, the new port side, starboard side. Oh god! <laughs> Wait, is the transponder not good? No, no a transponder is what identifies so, a ship. It, yeah, it's like a device. Well, Kreska just happens to be wearing one. How about my? It was the style of the time. How about my personal <laughs> comm unit? His, uh, her beeper. When the transponder, her pager. When you don't her answer pager. your transponder, the comm unit goes off. <laughs> <laughs> this is just you a decorative transponder. <laughs> right? I didn't think it was it's ceremonial. Hard. It's best, <laughs> vestigial. It's a vestigial transponder. <laughs> it's an ancient <laughs> best tradition to wear a transponder into battle. Right. It's a sign of a uh, superiority. It's a, it's a sign of honor. <laughs> right. <laughs> Only Mark a captain would yeah. wear it. <laughs> um, <laughs> your comm unit. Cresco yeah, activates your comm unit. <gasps> Captain K, we meet again. Captain Aquani, I should have known I'd hear your voice. Ah, uh, you are a long way from home, and so am I. I am surprised that we are meeting here. Perhaps fate has one more mission in store for us yet. Perhaps. You seem to have your situation <laughs> barely under control. Uh, I would love to stay and chat, but I have cargo here that I am dropping off that has come seeking you, I believe. Me? Well, you and your friends. Kresko looks over at Dax and Aqualo. Yeah, Dax at arms, Dr. Friss. arms his weapon. I will be honest with you. This is a closed channel, Captain. If you do not want this cargo, it will be disposed of. The cargo uh, is a woman by the name of Donovan. Oh. Donovan. Linnea Donovan. She comes from Absalom Station. We've done some searching. She is some sort of... No, she comes from money. She seems to be a fighter of some sort. It is not clear. She wants to speak with you and your crew. If you do not want this, we will take care of her, for you and I are old friends. What does she want with us? I do not know. This is all the information I have, but uh, 
I am a very long way from home, Captain. Please make your decision. Kreska thinks back and looks at her crew. Captain, uh, we must speak with Linnea Donovan. If this is, if it truly is Linnea Donovan, if he truly is Max's daughter, if, we have to, we've got to see her. What an incredible opportunity fate has offered us. Max sacrificed her life for us. You're right. We owe her daughter that much. Captain, send her down. Deliver your cargo. All right. Right after this word from our sponsor. <laughs> 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 the bay door of the ship opens. I don't know, the fucking hangar. <laughs> the transponder of the ship <laughs> opens. <laughs> the bay windows of the ship open. Letting in a very nice afternoon breeze. Ah, that's a breathable atmosphere here. You, you remove the knickknacks that sit on the sill. <laughs> Sorry, a couple of plants. You step past the curio cabinet. Yeah, wait, are, are we on a gas giant? <laughs> yes, yeah. you are floating. Yeah. Well, you're on a floating city. But the, the upper okay. levels are very... So ba basically, yeah, it's, it's a floating city over an enormous <laughs> gas giant, but we're in a, a place called the Broken Lands. Is that right? The Broken Lands. That's what the indigenous people call it. But uh, we we have reason to believe that it used to be a place called Securitech, which was a uh, security firm. But uh, Ellie in particular put forward that it, there was probably some sort of disaster here that ex uh, exploded within yeah. Securitech. Some we research the, they were yeah. doing, some advanced technology or something. And uh, it broke the land apart. So now you have to like hop yeah. from I land see. to land. Okay, okay. And if we, you we fall, think, you get sucked into a gas We think it might be related to the drift rock cut off as well, right? Like, like that's what Grant said. But it's not breathable. Don't say we. I don't, uh, I don't believe It's not breathable but atmosphere. Is, the atmosphere is breathable. You're not wearing spacesuits. No. Correct. Actually, we are wearing spacesuits. As Matthew stated, he's always wearing a spacesuit. Yes. And our helmets are uh, always yes. on. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you tell me otherwise. otherwise. Uh, Joe, how does Dax feel seeing a real pilot just be able to oh. definitely hover this? Came in smooth. Just smooth. The rusty rivet is just up oh, there. Who, wait, who was the pilot on the crew? Like a bumblebee uh, just hovering. It the, is it Q4? Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> the android was the uh, engineer. It was uh, the Vesk. You know, it's <laughs> the Vesk. Yeah. yeah, he was the pilot. Yeah, Zekanoia yeah. Spike Smasher. Spy oh, good Vesk name. And this is how you pilot! Oh and, and if you remember, in that combat, he... <laughs> I uh, know it's not surprising, but he bested Dax, yep. and Dax was like, "Good flying." Uh, when he came on board, he thank was, you. He was very and he was there. He was like, "Fuck you, fuck you, I want." It was a lot of fun. Um, having I'll shit. always have your back, Maverick. <laughs> uh, yeah, the beautiful swoop in, but it's going to be a jump Such for you. <laughs> the transform, the transponder is open, uh, Linnea. Will you jump? Stop saying transponder. <laughs> it's wide open. It's a, you're going to confuse people are gonna listeners be confused. that actually know what they're talking about. <laughs> that have I, actually flown spaceships. I, <laughs> That's they're going to be like, no, 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 no. I have a, a, but I, I, I mean, I barely know what you're talking about, but I'm yeah. assuming I get the gist of it. No, you I, get the jib of it. Dude, the jib, yeah. You meant to say jib. God, I did so What's, much jib no. last night. I will do everything oh. I can to confuse you with the English language. No, I said jib. <laughs> I said gist. No, come on. With it's a family tea, show. With a T. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, do you want to jump out of this? Gist. 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 The hell is going on? Jump. Gist. Jump out of the jib. All right. Do a jump jib. Um, that's going to be... Uh, oh, wait. Yes, I do. What was your athletics check? 20. Oh. Nice. Back flips out. So we Ooh. have we have an athlete. Yes. Wow. Unfortunately... Uh, misses the land and falls <laughs> directly into the core. An entire of the episode, <laughs> and she's gone. I, uh, I I'll wanna... give you a moment to roll up a new character. <laughs> I don't want to laugh about it, it's but it is, vamp. it is my oh. favorite. <laughs> I forgot what vamping meant for a second. Um, wait, no, 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 Do, David. <laughs> David, vampiring. Can David and Anne just mute Ellie's mic for the rest of this episode? No. Yeah, just cut the mic. Sure. Um, she's got to roll it up. No, what? what um, and what and is defiantly shaking her head no. Yeah, <laughs> what Lene exactly. didn't know is they they said let me just pull over the 
pull over the land quickly, and you just brazenly <laughs> jumped out. <laughs> okay, fine, I didn't jump. You said you, you, you baited me into jumping, yes. and also it's one of my favorite jokes when people misses things, like when they jump and then miss, oh, and is. then fall. That actually would be epic. Classic. If that, that was the end of <laughs> Linnea Donovan. Just <laughs> Another Simpson episode is when uh, Mary Poppins, like the oh yeah, Mary, Mary Bobbins, yeah, Bobbins, and she goes up in the air, and, and then the I jet like, engine. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't some I don't think this is the last we'll see of Mary Bobbins. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> uh, I do. By the way, I have I have a, dr- a special drop for Ellie's new character that I've been saving. Oh, oh really? Because I never yeah. got to. We hear never the got PG. the PG drop. We never. Yeah. We never. Knew. What was the criteria for that drop being pay- played? Something amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ellie's never character happened. has to do never something happened. amazing. Never happened. You, you should have done it right as able. the drow grabbed her out of the portal. Yeah. 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 That's <laughs> it. This is episode 97. To be fair, all the times that PG could have done something amazing, she did it and then also hurt more of us than she hurt the enemy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. Matthew, I mean, he's obsessed. I got he's the over-under on episode 125, and I'm hammering the over. Okay. Um, oh, PG coming back? No. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm Ellie's on. character doing something cool Oh, okay. to merit the drop. Gotcha. We'll discuss it later. Whatever. You're taking the over? Yeah, I'm taking the over. All right, let's move on. Does Ellie get, that, a, does the character get off the plane or what? She lands. <laughs> you see this. Jumps out of the transponder. Woman, shaved head. <laughs> badass. Land. <laughs> About 15 feet away from you. Jump let's go. Uh, let's go to old roll twenty here. Ooh. 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 Will the will the people watching this video see the roll twenty? No, no, no. Good because I. <laughs> yes, they will. But you're on there. Okay, I changed my name though. Uh, I changed my name back from the things that I had. Oh right. Um, well, looks like Skid is still. I have crap. <laughs> <laughs> Skid, could you so. please? I'm sorry. Could you please? I'm sorry. That? No, no, <laughs> no. I think we should leave it. Okay. Please. Leave it. Be, uh, to, be, to be fair, that is the. Uh, Tamus thing that he's yeah ever, he's by far had on I changed mine to Troy the Valley right I, before we went I, live. I changed mine to O'Brien yep. it was, it was not I could not have had my poop. former one there um, <laughs> who's poopy I just changed mine oh, oh, yeah, oh come on <laughs> that's such a cute one though. this is a family show I'm Cindy. leaving it that is a family version of this poopy poopy is the most <laughs> docile thing yes. Linnea you don't know she's Linnea well actually you do know she's Linnea at this point she lands perfect precision and the transponder slowly closes. Wait, 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 wait. Callum. Callum sits uh, inside watching, just watching, and um, he says, oh, shit. And he gets up and he asks the captain to open the... uh, Transponder. Nope. (laughs) The door. The door is broken. We can only go out. <laughs> it's, right, it's a very rusty <laughs> ship. <laughs> Don't make me say it. Um, I'm so sorry. He says, <laughs> could, could, you, so could, you sorry. Open, could you open the transponder? <laughs> you are young. You have your whole life ahead of you. I've seen boys your age. Girls your age as well. Come to Broken Rock and retire young with riches. Owning land. Having great power. That was my dream. You have great power too, I can sense it. And you want to waste it here in the middle of nowhere, deep in the vast. Uh, Calm says, I've been alone, a lot. And I, power's not always a good thing. I need to know that I can be with people. And, um, I gotta try. Captain nods. All right. Spike Smasher. <laughs> Open the transponder. <laughs> <laughs> it opens again. Oh, God. So many people cringing. <laughs> roll an athletics check if you'd like to jump oh. out. Ooh. 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 Can I aid? First roll on the show. Nope. Roll on the show. Let's see. 17, 18, 19, 20. Whoa. Whoa. Also 20. 20 buddies. She's already learning. The binary star. Moments after Linnea Donovan lands, this oddly lanky, gray-skinned, young person lands right next to her. 
As this happens, I think Qualo will run over to the oddly lanky one because he knows that there's a history with the Donovans, but he was not around to see what Mac did. Saw the heroics that she did. Mm -hmm. a, a broadcast a broken rock all the way from Absalom Station, but doesn't want to interfere, but is very curious with this one. Doesn't want to interrupt. Let's, let's, whoa, whoa, whoa. let's the crew talk to... Um, Wait, so Koala runs up to... Runs yeah. up to him in like in a threat. No, not in a threatening way. Yeah, he comes and <laughs> pulls it, his Eleanor. solar weapon. Yeah. Yep. No, so like, draw you see he himself to photons. Yeah. Well, so, I would say like if someone someone came running to my prodigy, like I would be like a little worried. Right. Well, it's just the, in his defense, it's just a weird snail guy with three eye socks. <laughs> Three eye stocks, three tentacular arms, right. quadrupedal. The fr front two legs are replaced by machines. So it's just <laughs> <laughs> and right. then, like the first eye stock looks up at this. All right. Callum, yeah. Callum does not flinch. Well, just roll for initiative. No. No. Oh. Linnea, <laughs> Linnea immediately draws her weapon and points at Qualo. Okay, so Qualo, you see that? Hold your tongue, human. I've seen your kind before. I've only read of the Vithani. You stay away from Qualo. Him. Shut up. Tell me. What case do you belong to? I've read of your people. I know that there are three of you. You don't have to answer. Stay away from it. I'll give you one more warning before I shoot. I'm a pure one. Ah, of course. Qualo, I think you should give our new friends a bit more breathing space. Ah. Don't you agree? Certainly, I'm, I'm sorry. I just get excited when I see a new carbon based life form that I've never encountered before. What is your name, boy? We may have just Callum doesn't shoot. answer. Qualo. All right, Captain. Yes, captain, sir. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And then Qualo like skitters back behind the captain's legs. Miss Donovan. Just leaves a green trail. Allow me to <laughs> introduce myself and my crew. I am crap. I am Kreskaletha, the unnamed. She gestures to Dax, the android. This is the size of the gun. He's Holding his giant <laughs> Sheeran eye rifle. <laughs> it's actually like <laughs> the most expensive Nerf gun that only the rich kids in your neighborhood had. Exactly. With like the big yeah, yeah. Or the, like the, the super soaker super with soaker, the backpack. Yeah. yeah. With the backpack. I had that growing up, and I remember <laughs> a jogger going. Parents. A jogger went by me when I was wearing that thing, and he's just like, "Shoot me!" And as a nine-year-old kid, I was like, "Fuck you!" Yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. No idea. It was the best. You yeah. don't know what a super soaker is? Nope. A water gun. Oh, a water gun. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Sorry, a big yeah. water gun. I've yeah. been here through guns. Big no super joke. <laughs> I really hope you don't use Urban Dictionary. Um, I always had those pump ones soaker. that took forever, but like... Super Soaker 50, the green and uh, yellow, John. That's what I had. Super Soaker 75 was like the purple and pink one. Super Soaker 100 had the dual tanks. Or the Super Soaker 150. Oh, man. Uh, I, I think I had knockoff. My mom bought knockoff cereal, so I doubt she would oh, buy an actual okay. super, oh, super Soaker. Super Soaker. Yeah. <laughs> I, I too somewhat know. somewhat put, soaker put put on the company calendar your birthday just get ready oh get ready. shit oh, in the studio i'm gonna spread no, 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 no. <laughs> no 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 don't do it in here but i too no, know the pain. i will i too know the pain of knockoff cereal so <laughs> honey, I, honey I still o's. eat knockoff cereal honey yeah. o's fruity o's oh. Uh, frosted mini biscuits are a delicacy oh, in my man. apartment <laughs> yeah man i'm gonna cry wheat puffs <laughs> oh no! Fantastic. Oh. Nothing wrong with those big plastic bags that they don't have a box. They just come in the bag. A big, a big plastic bag. Glumios. What, what are the fruit Glumios? Glumios. <laughs> Measly. What are the Fruit Loops ones called? They're like, they're like, they're like Fruit O's or were, something. Weren't they Fruity O's? Yeah. Fruity O's. So fruity close O's. to fruity the O's. name, but like not enough for a lawsuit. Right. <laughs> Glumios. Glumios, <laughs> more like it. Yeah. Uh, so Qual, you step back. I Kreska, Kreska gestures. To Dax. Who's yeah, Dax, Dax is holding a, uh, a large uh, weapon, a sniper rifle, essentially, and uh, he's. So you see an android uh, with a mohawk <laughs> and a cut off jean jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Tattoo sleeve. Looks like a shitty Mr. T. <laughs> no, no. He looks tough. You, look, you take one look at him and you're like, that guy can fly a starship. <laughs> That's the first thing you think. Clearly an ace pilot. <laughs> Clearly an ace Whatever pilot. Clearly. Background. <laughs> and uh, and he, he's looking at Linnea Donovan. And he just nods. 
And he's like, I knew your mother. I would like to speak to you of her. Your Dex. You this know me. Distribution Android X19. You may call me Dax. Your Dax, your Kreska, and therefore. Doctor. It must be Dr. Friss. And Friss just sort of nods and looks, looks down and away, kind of ashamed. However, I don't know. Oh, right. Because right. He, he killed her mother. Her mother. Well, we don't tell her that right now. No, Was that, that cut right out now. of the tape that got to people? It wasn't. I, I think you didn't speak of what happened. You no, just say nobody she spoke of what happened. Sacrificed her life. Well, Roger Glipwerp's such a poor journalist. He never asked. Well, he didn't ask the hard hitting questions. But I mean, that's the thing. He's is, a morning show host. Yeah, he yeah. loves yeah. softballs. He's what is? What did the note say? The rough five know more than they have let on. Oh. So Kreska oh, right. steps forward, and she's you know this eight foot, seven foot. I'm sorry, the seven foot lizard creature, and she has her, her fingers you know, steepled. She goes contemplatively. Contemplatively. She goes, Miss Dunneman, you've come a very long way to speak with us. Surely you have questions. Yes, I have many, many questions. And uh, But I must ask, who's the fourth one? The man who threatened my friend here. This is Qual- uh, Callum. Callum. God damn it. He did not threaten your friend. He is merely curious. He's just kind of a weird guy. Okay. He has proved himself to be an incredibly valuable, though incredibly off-putting alien. <laughs> he's actually kind of sweet. He is. Once you get to know him. But he's disgusting to look at <laughs> and to smell. <laughs> <laughs> Real seesaw of emotions So many ups and downs. Oh, man. Linnea, Callum, please forgive me. I took many years to leave Broken Rock until I could find a crew that would accept me. And, and my spell. These, these three were so desperate after the loss of the. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I need to let off some. Okay, there the we go. The whole time. <laughs> these three, well, four before we lost. Well, the three with me now were so desperate after the loss of the other hero. <laughs> Another flower. The other hero, Mesha and Vanya. <laughs> All right. Oh. Who died terribly that they took me on. I apologize. Yes, I do remember. She and let us... She mentioned Vanya. And let me extend my personal apology and condolences for the loss of your mother. Thank she you. was a great leader. And I think um, Linnea first for a second is kind of breaking down, but then stoically. <clears throat> yes, thank you. Um, thank you for saying that. Uh, yes, I wish I wish to talk to you, but why? Where are you? Where are we, and why are we on this strange planet? I. I, I also wish we had more time to talk, but unfortunately, we're in an incredibly dangerous position. Yes, I was going to ask: Have you secured the perimeter? No, we are simp We've just arrived on this perimeter. We have not yet secured this building, and it makes me uh, concerned that you have arrived with a child. Who well, seems unable to defend themselves. Callum puts his hands in his pockets and looks down. Kicks dirt. Yeah, <laughs> just kicks some grass. No, yes, I have, um, he had no other choice, but he's, I'm not going to leave him behind. And Boy, she puts a hand on Callum's ha shoulder. Callum shakes his head so his hair falls in his face. <laughs> we have heard many stories of the teens on this island. <laughs> <laughs> the, teens, the teens are very rough here. And they have run into many life-threatening problems due to their bravado. Keep it calm. Follow he, orders. Their, their frontal lobes are not fully formed. <laughs> I will tell you so that... They make impulsive decisions. Soft spots in their heads. On Ishtemak, if you return from the Broken Lands, you will have your choice of date the homecoming. You will be able to take anyone you wish. It will be so impressive when you return. Everybody roll a perception check. Yep. We're oh, sitting dear. there trying to feel each other out. You've got this building in front of you. Mm. Um, you know, it's been a couple weeks. Uh, you've got this uh, overgrown path, but you can see a path that leads up to the what you'd assume is the front door of the building. The grass that you're standing in it comes up to your knee. It's blue and green. It's got that sweet, sweet smell. Um, and you see up ahead that the, the walls of the building are just shot through with 
barely perceptible white filaments webbing across the entire surface like no one has been in here for a long time. Maybe that team that uh, Harold Tiazel talked about didn't even come to this building. Maybe it was another building that he thumped his chest at before he went in. You don't know. This one looks untouched. And just for the record, we can't see their characters' names on Roll20, so that's a, that's an easy fix. Thank you. Fix that Thank up. Thank you for grinding this you to a halt. Sloppy work. <laughs> so I can do just point out can your I sloppy work. Can Kreska roll a sense motive on Linnea? Uh, yeah. Do that while I, I mean, make names <laughs> visible. <laughs> People are watching, him now? man. Can you see them now? Yes, I can. Right, Joe wants to know. That's Sorry, that Joe, was so exhausting. Joe already forgot the names. Yeah, so <laughs> that's what it came down to. Exactly. It's like, Kanea and Lalam. <laughs> I didn't know which one was which. <laughs> I mean, the captain trusts uh, her friend, the free captain. But, right. I mean, I want to do due diligence here. Sure, sure, sure. 19 on the sense mode. Really? She wants to kill you. No, <laughs> she, uh, what, what does he sense from the 19? Like, you feel like he, or excuse me, like she is can really look into you. I think uh, you sense um, honesty. Honesty, but, but also uh, she's not sure about you guys at all. Especially about Qualo. I mean, well, the ship is starting to fire up its engines. Well, Captain K, looks like my work here is done on the. You hear it on your transponder. You hear it on the transponder, which, and then you hear it on your comm unit. Uh, best of luck. I have a feeling we will run into each other again. I hope so. And when we do, first round's on me. Good luck saving the world, Captain. <laughs> And as she takes off, what did everybody roll for perception? Chris? Uh, 27. 24. Ooh. 9. 30. 25. 20. Wow. Everyone except Qualo. As the uh, ship takes off, the grass kind of comes to a halt after the, uh, the movement of the, the blasters of the ship. You're like, oh, oh no. Come on. <laughs> After those. Yeah, so, <laughs> so you said they left earlier. Listen, it's, this, we're in a science fantasy world. <laughs> it takes some time for a ship to leave an atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Good call, Matthew. Everyone except Qualo sees these like sacks float oh. from over oh, the top of on. the building. They almost look like jellyfish. They're these oh. weird large sacks and it looks like nope. two are coming up and over oh. the building and then two are coming up from underneath oh, the floating island. Four. Roll for initiative. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Oh. Is, it, is it too late to call in our transponder? <laughs> Floating sacks! <laughs> Captain Alquana, come back! <laughs> oh, Linnea, Linnea says to Calum, stay with me. Uh, so calmly. Cool. Despite these sacks. <laughs> Cover. Oh, Cover. We got two new characters. We got new classes. We got live! What do we got? Uh, Linnea oh, for initiative. Uh, Linnea got initiative God, 13. 13 for Linnea. Nat yeah, natural two. Uh, Dr. Friss. Uh, a natural 20 for a 33. Oh, oh. 100% of the time. Saucy. <laughs> Dax, uh, what'd you get over there, buddy? Another natural two. Awesome. For an 11. Beautiful. Garbage trash. <laughs> and uh, Qualo? Eight. Eight for Qualo. Qualo, uh, he didn't gotcha. He didn't see this happening, so he's slow yeah. to pick up the action. Uh, Captain K. Thirteen. Thirteen for Captain K. Uh, same as Linnea. And Callum. Another nat 20 for a 22. Wow. Ooh. What the? Yeah, I wasted my Spicy. one nat 20. I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's That's not a waste. Plenty. You see, Ellie? That's, That's a... how it's done. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, man. So don't... You're doing so great. <laughs> Thank you, Skid. You're doing uh, so you. well. Don't been, pin us against each other. It's been so long since someone's <laughs> really try. impressed me on this show. Shut up. We're in this together. <laughs> you know what? I feel the same way. Oh, oh, oh wow. snap. Oh. snap. Oh. oh, I love that. Wow. That's oh, great. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Thanks for dressing up. Uh, <laughs> round one. 
Dr. Friss, you see these things. There's four of them. They're large and they're gross. Jellyfish sacks! Okay, I am going to attempt to identify them using my life science Don't do it. powers. No. Oh, Natty 19. Damn uh, it. Yeah, so that is tell me everything about them. <laughs> <laughs> that is tell me everything. Okay, so. these, uh, you know. No, so, so this is how I think this works. Yeah. So th there's no broad knowledge that I would be able to learn about these things that I would have like been able to study or anything. But for someone who is a xenobiologist, as Dr. Chris is, you would be able to see something and be able to identify how its anatomy works. Mm -hmm. You'd be able to see it and like be able to compare it against anything similar that he's, that he's encountered and say, like, I think this is how this biological system operates yeah and get his advantage that way you know i've been coy with you since you've entered Istamak because a lot of the things you've come up against only exist on Istamak. right and it's a system that no one knows about it's, it's yeah the madagascar so there was this world right yeah but this it's is like the, oh that's a lemur right <laughs> there's no you can't do that i don't know what that is um i can tell you like some of its abilities based on what you're saying these creatures however have a uh a creature that's in common with something that you have read about. Okay. Uh, they are similar to Barathus. Okay. Oh, this okay. Is... That's the the Livon, Li, Li, Livania, Livania, the, the gas giant. That's they. Is that where they're from? David. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> origin of monsters, really? That, that's what I'm guessing. That's not really I thought what you knew all the origins. What color are them? they? <laughs> <laughs> Did they smell? It's not really what uh, he's here for. No, no, no. I didn't know if you were just like, yeah, totally, Lavania. But no, there's like, there's like, there's like floating creatures on the gas giant in yes, the pack. Yes, Bra uh, Bratheta? Bratheta. Bratheta. Yes. Yeah, Bratheta. Yes, yes they are yeah. from Bratheta. Yes. yes, they speak Bratheta. Yeah. Um, and I do too. Okay, so this isn't exactly a Barathu. It's a subspecies subspecies of a Barathu. Okay. You rolled 19. What was it uh, total? Uh, total is very high indeed, and my DC is five lower, which I still don't understand why they do that. Uh, that is a 37. You know what? I have an idea. How about you never mention that again and just add five yeah. every time you're like <laughs> okay. life science. 43. <laughs> I'll just say that. There you go. It's 43. That um, makes it easy. All yeah. right. They are amorphous. That means they don't take double damage from crits. Okay. Joe, I'm sorry. All those crits you're uh, all, all those crits are No for, double for damage nothing. now. Oh, just wait for it tonight. You want to <laughs> see all the crits I'm <laughs> about to crit roll? Left and right. <laughs> right. Uh, they, they, they They're kind of like oozes? They take the effects from critical hits, but they don't take double damage. It's just uh, a, the property amorphous. Oh, Do they have... definitely rolling daddy 20. Do they have mines? Uh, did you roll this check? I uh, would think that uh, having traveled with a psychic for some time now, this would be something Chris would be interested in. Yeah. You can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Do they have minds? They do. Okay. Uh, in fact, they can uh, communicate uh, telepathically okay. um, with each other. So okay. strong minds. And then you rolled pretty high. You can give him one more, David? Uh, yes. All right. <laughs> I rolled as high as anyone yes, could basically. possibly. All right, David. First amazing All contribution right. you should do a battle. Thank you, David. It's for every five he exceeds. You have to give him more things. We all right. know that. All right. They have dark vision 60 feet. <laughs> uh, Useful things. They, weaknesses. Weaknesses. They have this. Uh, no weaknesses that you know of. Okay. However, they have this very cool, you might even want to call it an exceptional ability, oh. uh, known as adaptation. Oh, where the movie? They're, yes, they can yes. just start playing the movie adaptation, <laughs> um, but it ends before the movie falls apart in the last hour. Uh, it's great. Um, it's great the whole way through. I think nope. it's great the whole way through. Oh, it's it's the great the whole way through. I, they're writing that the movie is falling apart. I know. I, that's why I didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of Schenectady, New York? I love Schenectady. It's great. It's, it's amazing. Movie, yeah. All right. Synecdoche. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> thanks, Professor Skid. <laughs> the body Asshole. of this creature. I'm not going to get tenure if I don't correct my students. The body sorry. of the creature yeah. is very mutable no and violence. can adapt to respond to virtually any situation. So, like, every round, it can just, like, do crazy things to buff itself. Maybe buff its AC. Maybe Whoa. give it DR. Maybe give it resist to energy. Maybe give it a longer reach. It can do crazy things to adapt to the situation. That is so freaking wow. cool. Let me ask, do they bleed? They bleed blood. If they bleed, we can kill them. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're up. All right. Um, <laughs> with this knowledge, yes. uh, he is going to attempt to do a stealth check to try to get 
uh, trick trick shot off against it, and that is a 32. 32, and this is against the one that's like it's over good. here it's by good. itself, yeah? Yeah, the closest one. Yep, 32 will do. All right, and his gun is still out. Okay. Never put it away. Uh, and he is going to fire against its flat-footed AC, EAC. Ah! <laughs> that's a 14. Oh, no! That's a miss. So sorry, that that's is a miss. A miss. Uh, uh, but you walk away at least uh, armed with information. And I yell out everything that you said to everyone else. Right. Qualo, unfortunately, doesn't hear any of it because he rolled so low on his perception. Um, that would be a <laughs> new perception. Wouldn't that be role. a fun, fun rule? Uh, yeah, so you're able to identify it. You're able to like immediately call up knowledge about this creature, but your shot goes wide. Moving right along, it is Callum's turn. Manea, you spoke to Callum on the ship. You're worried about uh, dragging this young man into this situation, and now he's being forced to fight for his life. Oh, my God. Can he do anything? I hope so. <laughs> Can he? That's what I'm asking myself. Um, Callum is gonna do something that's maybe not great for battle, but true to character. He is going to use something that he has called Skin Mimic, where if he stays stationary for a round, he gains a plus 10 to a stealth check. So slowly you see his skin turn into the color of oh, the grass surrounding cool. him. That is amazing! Wow. And he completely disappears into this kind of like taller grass. <laughs> so let me so Varathans Verthani. Ver, Verthani. Verth, they they can consciously change their skin tone. So from a Is young, he old enough to do that? From a young age, they change with emotion. Okay. Once you hit puberty, oh. you're able to change them at will. Oh. Some Verthani do not change it at will because they believe it's a, like prophetic. They like it's like a prophecy the way their skin changes. But for him, it's tied to emotion. So oh, he is okay. scared, like a chameleon, literally. And yeah, he is yeah. just like, goodbye. And he that's awesome. blends. That's, oh, that's super so cool. cool. That's so cool. Linnea, Linnea's going to be like, clever boy. You look yeah. over, though, and he's gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So are you effectively invisible? or? Can no, we... it's just a plus. You just get a bonus to stealth. To stealth. But I'm thinking cool. if, if Troy lets me roll a stealth, maybe I would be hidden or somewhat concealed. All right, so that's a, a standard action, and you haven't taken a move action. Uh, David, what do you think? That's It's to roll a stealth check. That's cool. Maybe uh, opposed by perception. Sure, yeah. Go that's ahead and roll. an opposed roll. Roll that old stealth rooney Come well, on, you never come want on, to go toe-to-toe toe toe with out. the Troy. Wait, so then question. Yes. Is it just a flat plus 10, or is it a plus my stealth plus yes. the yes. 10? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, my God. 24. Ooh. 24. Okay. Uh, all right. We'll see what happens. We'll see uh, what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks La Valley over here. Yeah, Who exactly. knows? Yeah. Who knows? Um, I'm fucked. Who really knows? <laughs> <laughs> gonna roll your totally Actually, I don't I hate think playing that. with him. <laughs> you don't think so? You Ellie's think he's bluffing? Ellie's metagaming. Roll bluff check roll on Troy. Oh, my God. Roll, 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 roll it. First, <laughs> first there was Mac character so great the rest of the party killed her then there was pg a character so poorly made she was removed from the game by the gm a gm's exactly. decision let's give it up for the next installment in ellie's poop fest <laughs> linnea Dubin. Dubin. Yeah! yeah i'm actually Dubin. very Dubin. excited for linnea Dubin. Dubin. except i have a weird feeling that you're just a way better dax <laughs> Which is upsetting. <laughs> it might not be. It, 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 there's a little play. I have, your, I have your drop ready if you do something good. <gasps> I got bottle caps nat here. Nat 20, nat 20, nat 20. Got a nice well, little... I, can't, I don't think I can. Okay. So she has. Caps? Get out of the ground. Well, you can keep her <laughs> stupid caps. Um, I think she has her rifle out, so she's going to shoot. Yeah. Um, And she's going to shoot. Landed everyone that's... and pulled your rifle out. Mm. Wow. She pulled her rifle at Koala, Mr. Big ass. It's cannon. Oh, win that's right. You win. You win. You're right. You're right. Mr. Yeah. Big ass? Mr. Big Don't ass. Don't you <laughs> talk about my ass? I've been working out. <laughs> Don't body shame Troy. It's oh, a sickness. Um, <laughs> yes. So <laughs> she's going to shoot. Uh, that's a 15. Oh, oh <laughs> what boy. What a garbage character. <laughs> and. Wow. But They're flat-footed, she, though. But so then mean. she's going to drop her weapon Ooh. and take out something and use her move action to open a collapsed weapon. And it just, boom, boom, and it's 10-foot 
big ass sword comes out. Whoa. What? That's three inches big and she's just wait, wait, holding wait, wait. it. A yeah. collapsed Ten sword? Foot. Ten foot. It's double my size. I'm five foot. Wow. wow. Cloud stripe how, over here. Wait, how tall is she? She is um she's tall. At least to like one ninety maybe. Um, okay, what is that in American? <laughs> That's about like, six foot. Yeah, like six. Five foot. Big American. Oh, one ninety. Six foot six. She's yeah, one hundred ninety feet tall. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm like one point nine meters I think. Or one point eight eight. Something like that. She's real tall. It's six and a quarter feet. She's a tall. tall oh, that's it. As I said, she's tall. She's not like Mac. She's, Mac is a. What is that in Bitcoin? Oh, six foot four. Six foot four. Yeah. Rich. Okay, it's maybe six foot two then. No, it's, it's, a, it's a grand. Six foot four yeah. and human. That is really, 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 really tall. Well, six foot basketball two. players are unbelievably tall. I've seen them. Oh, I know. I know they exist. I'm just saying that's tall. <laughs> she's the minute bowl. I've seen them. <laughs> Poorly made PCs. She's a very tall woman. Yeah, that's an unbelievably tall woman. Badass. I love I'm it. I'm sorry. Did you make up the 10 foot sword? <laughs> no. Or is it actually It is a 10 foot cool weapon, but she's holding it like this. So it goes to one side and one side. Like Darth Maul. Oh, 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 like Darth Maul. Oh, Darth Maul. Hell yeah. Oh. And, it, and, it, and it flows in a very weird way. A distracting way, mm, and I didn't, cool. I didn't check with Troy if this was legal. Did it accidentally? But I won't. <laughs> Did you just make up a weapon, David? Yes. No, no. Someone didn't send David. me their character sheet. <laughs> oh no. Oh. She, it is legal. Raise your hand if okay. you sent David a character sheet. Did you accidentally? Uh, uh, two people. Two people. Because yeah. David bullied no. me. You forgot. Grant me. never been here. Grant yeah. never did. No. That explains wow. a lot. I sent yeah. you PG. Broken character. Yes, you, you did send me PG before. I don't know an abduction. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, so this thing is ten meters. Long, <laughs> ten foot. <laughs> Same here. thing. Do you learn metrics? I refuse. <laughs> she stands twenty-five meters high. Kreska's up next. <laughs> Is that tall? That's so. <laughs> that's that's freaking a, that's, tall, that's dude. a swim. That's a swim like a sw swimming it's a, she, pool. It's like a tall, small house. It's an Olympic a, pool. The, she's the size of an Olympic swimming pool. That's what they called her in that's the what, clink. That is. And then you see one of the football-sized football fields. Yeah, go that past. is that is actually mm. about as long as a football field. Um, okay. All right. A big Gen boulder <laughs> the size of a small boulder. Are we done debating the metric system? Yeah, I guess. Uh, Kreska is going to roll a perception check to see if she can see Callum. Okay. And I rolled a natural 20. Oh. oh. Okay, so what is that wait, total? Wait, you rolled to try to see me? Yeah, yeah. it's opposed. It's he doesn't opposed. trust you. I have so. to. Yeah. Oh, all right. So uh, what, what is that total? Well, well he, he already she, was, she already rolled the stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was a 20, yeah. 24. 24. Yeah, you see you see him. All right, well, fuck. Thanks. Just wait, just wait a minute. Okay. He's going to open fire on you. <laughs> uh, the worst game My of hiding. And I shoot him. It's the only rational explanation. His family was killed by Vertani. <laughs> yes. What backstory? <laughs> Moving back to the reality of the actual game we're playing, uh, Chris is going to say, Guard the Nan, Callum. And then she's going to cast uh, a spell on Callum called Shield Other. Oh, oh good, good. Classic. Oh. So oh, I'm basically God. warding the target and connect, creating a mystic connection between uh, me and him. Okay. So that if some of, it, so some of its wounds are transferred to me. Oh, nice. Because oh. there's a freaking child in the middle of battle with us. Yep. Yeah. And for the record... He's not wearing armor. He doesn't have any armor on. Oh, damn. So. No, yeah, yeah. You stay put. That's, you, that's only that hit a, point. Is that then. an oversight? It or... is, because I sent David my character sheet, and I realized I didn't buy any armor. <laughs> I think it's great. No, I wow. think it's great. We have some. I think it's great you forget to do that, and then you're like, hey, for story it was, reasons. It was, no, for story, for story reasons, no one would let him have armor, so like, it's yeah. fine. Well, yeah. so no, he, for just, the... he just had a knife. Yes, that, that's he all literally. It <laughs> no other gear, just a tactical knife. Why didn't you, David? Why didn't you say something? <laughs> because I didn't want to, like, you know, spoil play other people's right. characters. No, guys, it's gonna be it's real like funny. You... It's gonna be so funny when he dies. It's so funny. It's like when oh. you start Dark Souls in a loincloth. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> noticing with her perception you... check that she's that Callum is not wearing any armor, Kreska is gonna interpose herself between. Do you, uh, does your does your camouflage work against? Is it? Can we see you fine? Or depending I roll on your perception. Oh, you, you got it. Okay, sorry. I, yes, I didn't if you, if yeah. you listened to what happened about a minute and a half ago, I oh. rolled perception and rolled oh. natural. He's getting fi See, this, what, you want. See, this is what I do, Sydney. I turn them all against each yeah, other. Yeah, what, what's going on? That's what I was trying to do with you and Ellie. It's not like uh, that echo quest. It's Kreska their will, turn. No, Kreska will move, nice. draw her Dashko, so and interpose herself between Callum and the other two uh, floaty things. Okay. Uh, this one that uh, Friss attacked fires pellets at Friss. Just... Some pellet comes flying out like at Doctor Chris. 
Yeah, it's it's a it's like a hard uh, cr- like uh, what's a ca- like a calcium deposit. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Got his little hole inside. <laughs> oh. Uh, Fourteen. I'm assuming misses. That is a miss. Okay. Uh, and then uh, this one up here is gonna fire one at Dax. Uh, twenty six. Yeah, twenty six. <laughs> <laughs> is that a hit good buddy yeah it's good okay uh so that pellet hits bludgeoning for seven points of damage oh zero points of damage oh very Ooh. nice I, oh, off his armor i immediately regret uh this one up here uh is going to try to slam uh krez kaletha here because uh, you interposed yourself and it's within its reach crack die that's gonna be psh- Daddy 19! Uh, that's uh, not going to be terrible damage, though. 10 points of damage. Uh, and then there's one left uh, that is going to fire a pellet at Qualo. And that is going to be a miss with a Natty 2. Uh, they all fire their pellets. Uh, I want to get all the attacks out, but they're going to move as well. And they're just going to kind of close on you guys. Oof. Uh, the one up here near Kreska is going to stay right where it is, but the one that fired at Qualo is going to blah, 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 move up towards the one near Kreska. So they're just kind of closing in on you. And you might be wondering, Troy, that edge of the map there, is there more map? No, that is endless sky behind you. So if you take a step back, you fall directly into the gas giant. Oh, my God. And it is... Dax's turtle. Oh, Daxy. Critty McGee over there. Old crits a lot. You guys fire twice and two crits. Uh, it, uh, shut up. Is, are they, uh, do I get the sense? Yeah. Do I get the sense they have reach? That, like, if I fired, it would provoke from this distance? Uh, do they have, like, long, like, limbs or anything? Or... Because I've only seen them shoot. Yeah, I mean, they, they take up 10 foot space. You have no reason to think they don't at least have 10 foot reach. Uh, okay. Um, in that case, uh, you know what? Dax is just going to, uh, he's going to drop his weapon. Okay. He's going to step up to it. It roll the, the, uh, the, uh, this part of the island is a small incline. It rolls directly <laughs> off. <laughs> he's got a shoulder strap. He's got a, this is, this is Remember, well established. Don't forget the, sh- the well established shoulder God! strap. You got it hangs a, by his side. You got me with a shoulder strap. You got him with a shoulder strap. The storied shoulder strap. <laughs> <laughs> well documented. It's just a weird island the way it tilts. Uh, <laughs> shoulder Pardon. straps don't seem to work in this part. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, <clears throat> he's going to release his weapon now this close to these huge creatures and seeing Linnea like pull out this like this like dual sided what, what clearly appears to be a melee weapon. Football field sized weapon. Right, exactly. The, the width of a football field and he's like, perhaps these two can, perhaps us two can fight together. Uh, and he is going to take a guarded step towards the creature. Towards the creature. And as he's stepping towards the creature, his glove of storing is just going to uh, bring forth a carbon steel curved blade. You're going oh, melee? Cool. Yeah, I'm going melee! Wow. Man. We haven't seen melee Dax in a while. We haven't seen melee Dax in a while. Show me what you got. And uh, he brings down a swing at the creature trying to make it bleed. Ooh, that's a 25. That is a hit. Yeah. That's a 25, and that is, oh, 21 <laughs> points of oh, wow. Nice. Nice, Dax. Not so he just like shabby. steps up, and then both hands just draws a blood uh, out of this sack. Yeah, it just spills all over you. Just, yeah. Oh, God. So, oh, oh God, so hot. Wipes it out of his eyes. Ah, it's Qualo's turn. Qualo, you oh see God. Dax drew first blood on these things. These weird floating sacks. Qualo's been battling with Dax for quite some time, and he's excited about Dax pulling out the melee. So Qualo attunes himself to the photonic Ooh. mysteries of the universe. Yeah. Remember PG? Moves Before, yeah. 25 feet forward, or 20 feet forward, and then... Gets into flanking position alongside Dax. Okay. Oh, pulls hell his pulls yeah, his, his his shoulder mode into a weapon as part of that. Question. Happy to take an attack of opportunity. That's what I was going to ask you. Did you move past the threatened space? I there? moved. I'll show you exactly where I moved. I moved to here. Five foot step here. Yes. Yes. Okay. You did. Okay. That's fine. So as you do, it <laughs> tries five foot step to here? slam you. No, you mm-hmm. moved. I took sorry. three guard <laughs> sorry, steps. Sorry, sorry. 
And, uh, <laughs> That's not yeah. what I was attempting yeah, yeah. to say. I just uh, but yeah, no, David's head just exploded. Is that okay, David? <laughs> Can you do that? Uh, I'm tearing like, up over I've, here. I've it's never just... had a player be so brazen. In my life. Oh, it tries to slam you as you go past. Uh, 24 to hit against CAC. Against my old Kaki McGee. Uh, that is a hit. Shabah! Nine points of damage, but you do get into position. All right. So at that instance, instead of swinging out as a standard action... Instead of swinging out as instead a Instead of swinging out, you see Qualo go Super Saiyan. And his oh. body is enveloped oh. in a just corona of fiery plasma. What? Oh. Coronavirus. He, that's coming right Coronavirus. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> No! In this... <laughs> not like this. <laughs> no, that's not how I wanted to go. In, 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 the, the, like in this. this state, any adjacent creature that hits me with a natural weapon or a melee weapon takes 2d6 fire damage, and if you're just next to me at the end of your turn, you take half of my Solarian level and fire damage. That is oh, amazing. Shit. So I wanted to get all the way over there, not just for flanking, but so that none of my team were around. Me. But and I so am a that is a standard action to yes, enact. Yes, it is. I wow. haven't. I, and how long can you have that power? Is it I a matter of rounds? Anything, or? <laughs> I I haven't. Uh, no, it's just active as long as I'm uh, in combat. So very, very cool. And I've awesome. cold resist ten with it as well. So pretty cool. I don't think we've seen this from you yet. It's because no. it's a standard action, yeah. and a lot of our combats have been. I feel like it's it has more utility to just get this out, and this is more about positioning and figuring things out, and so I thought it'd be a good time. I like it. I like Hell it. Yeah. Uh, all right. That is the end of round one. Before we get to round two, Unbelievable. <laughs> top of round two is going to be Dr. Friss. Dr. 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 Friss, you know Friss. about these things Dr. now. Dax has taken a, a strike, drawn first blood. You feel confident in what Qualo has done. Your shot just missed. What do you want to do? I know about the things, these things, and it's like, it's a very complex emotional moment on top of it, and I wish they weren't here. Uh, Dr. Pris is going to take like uh, a five foot step back the old and do like guardy step. Yeah, do like a, a reverse like somersault. Flip, flip. Get like grass stains all over his lab coat. Yeah, he's very and, agile. And um, he's gonna try to do another stealth check to get a trick attack off. Natty nineteen. Oh, nice. Dude, you're on fire with Wasted. that roll. Yeah, with those stealth <laughs> checks, which are so helpful. Uh, and he's Come going on, to tr squeeze Close off around deal. with his azimuth laser pistol. Close the deal. Try to. This is a natural fucking one. Oh! Are you kidding me? Oh! That's no! a bad. Fumble. That's all fair. Fumble. Fumble. Oh, so that would be ranged, right? Yeah. Uh, all right, let's see. This one from... Does a magic wizard jump in front of my laser blast? <laughs> <laughs> and turn it around and fire it at a unicorn. PG's arm appears and fires your gun oh, at no. your foot. No. I feel so bad for anybody that writes in with a... Perfectly reasonable fumble. Yep. That, that could, skid drop. That could happen to <laughs> bad guys. Get trouts. They get trouts. <laughs> None know. of them have been reasonable. You know what's you know what's so funny? To date. The most unreasonable one was um the, the goblin one, which was so fucking hilarious. That was... But I will say when people were speculating about who was gonna be on Androids and Aliens, when they found out it was me, everyone was like She's going to play the goblin. Yeah, the goblin that just fell to its death. He's going to come back up and like after dropping the kids off. And I was like, fuck, why didn't I think of that? Yeah. Yeah. He bounces off the planet's core. Yeah, hey, hey, really hey I'm back. would have been I so survived. funny. Somebody grab me. I'm actually fine. Sorry I shot at you earlier. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Tell me what this stupid Joe, these are is. Starfinder fumbles that are submitted by our Patreon supporters at what tier? Uh, $10 tier. $10, so, yeah, $10 tier. $10 enough. tier on Patreon. For just $10, you can be abused by Skid on air. And They're all yes. terrible. These are all professional and writers. You know, what, you know what you get to do at the same game time? Developers. Abuse Skid on air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. true. It's a David, different... David from Jim Thorpe, PA. Oh. No, I'm a big fan of Jim Thorpe, PA, by Oklahoma the way. Oklahoma native, Jim it's in Thorpe. the mountains. I hear it's, it's a in the cute mountains. little town. It is. It sure is. Uh, hill been... people, you know what I mean? <laughs> Maple syrup is <laughs> Maple syrup is sticky. Yes! Oh, oh wow. Oh, this is an Ellie callback. Feel Maple better. syrup. He's going to be so angry. <laughs> Maple syrup gets stuck in the trigger All of right, your weapon. All right, now wait a minute. <laughs> you had pancakes back at Cloudside <laughs> Condominiums. You know you did. It's canon. And you just didn't. It was a little bit on your lab coat. 
She so <laughs> Linnea Donovan has just entered exactly. our game, and right? I, I she just oozes maple syrup. <laughs> no, from she, her and it, oh, she has an aura of syrup. Or she's like one of those awful people who's just like, hello, maple syrup. Right. It's like, it's paid by me. Have a maple syrup. <laughs> it's from the fam. Mac Cosmetics. Maple syrup gets stuck in the trigger of your weapon. You file you fire wildly two extra times, wasting ammunition, and then drop your weapon as you attempt to free the trigger. Reflex what? save negates the drop. So you have to do a reflex save. Oh, okay. So a real quick reflex save. Do the right. shots get off, though? In Oh, they just fly off. Yeah, the only way. issue is it's ammunition Ammo, wasting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. That's, uh, that's, not, that's not great. The reflex save is against the creature's AC. Uh, AC. Yeah, that's, that's a 14. He drops his weapon. All right, so yeah. you fire twice. You're trying to get the, it out, and you drop the gun. What was the, the name of the person that submitted the fumble again? <laughs> it was and where David was their It wasn't me. Jim David from <laughs> Jim Thorpe, PA. I, David Winters, I believe. No, no. From Jim Thorpe. I did not commute in from Pennsylvania tonight. <laughs> David, was that you? No. Took no. the slow boat from Jim Thorpe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> slow boat. David, are you a fan of the Poconos? <laughs> oh, Jim Thorpe. Do you know who played Jim Thorpe in the, his uh, biographical movie? No, no. Uh, Burt Lancaster. Oh. Really? Oh. Yeah. Why didn't, are you saying that as if you're about to murder? Someone? Well, I'm, tr <laughs> I'm very trying angry. to interestingly vent enough uh, emotions right now, yeah, so I don't Jim go Thorpe berserk on this person. Who's Jim admitted. Thorpe, PA, is not that far from Lancaster. PA. Wasn't Jim Thorpe Native American? Yes. 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 Worst he was. part about that fumble is obviously the. Uh, slanted level of the uh, right. island, which was which, uh, the weapons permanently the weapon, gone uh, is gone, uh, and that was a family heirloom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to Callum's turn. Uh, I gotta get me a mug, a good skull mug. I, I said really I want to get a live show. a little John cup, for yeah. these. <laughs> like a chalice. <laughs> yes, what a grail. Right, I want to get a grail. We should all get them. Yes, that'd be fun. That would be fun. Callum, cool. can we can we actually bedazzle them together? <laughs> That'd be fun. Oh, a little so arts and crafts with a you know hot glue gun. We were having a good. We were having a good time about a cool thing we were gonna do, <laughs> and you're making a joke about it. I <laughs> actually wanted to bedazzle. Why don't you not mistake my enthusiasm for sarcasm? Don't wow. Don't mess with the cool kids table. Yeah. Wow. wow. Us three. Clearly, <laughs> this kind of is the cool kids. The cool Wait, kids table. Are we? Grant, you got to stick I with your own people over here. I don't think I've I sat at a cool no, kids table in my life. Never. Yeah. This is my once. first time. I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah, this is, I've Everybody never been invited. Everybody clap your hands. Everybody All right. clap wow. your hands. That right. was a nerd <laughs> move. <laughs> I really wanted to bedazzle. Anyway. Yeah. Wow. That's Cal really mean. Callum. I, I think he did want to bedazzle. Callum, you, don't, you think that your, uh, what was it called, skin mimic? Skin mimic. Skin mimic was enough to fool most of the people. You don't know if these creatures saw you or not because Captain K, Could who you've me. never met, uh, interposed met. himself. Oh, but not like, hey, what's your sign? Yeah, I'm having... Um... I'm having a dilemma because I feel like if I stay hidden and they have seen me, I've wasted a round. I haven't done anything then. So you have to use another standard action to stay hidden? No, it doesn't say that, but Good. I would assume probably. If you act and do something. <laughs> Troy's just... eyes went directly to David. <laughs> I went one Technically, of these. <laughs> so, but there's a problem. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. It's twofold. Number one, to answer your question, it's okay. a move action to hide. But, but the bigger problem is I actually messed up a rule. <gasps> oh, oh no. Yeah, you can't you wow. actually you can't even do this. It even happens. Yeah. Wait, you, wait, what? Are you just You're out, Winters. No, 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 no. To use stealth to hide, you have to uh, have either cover or concealment uh. or a special ability that allows you to hide in plain sight. You're standing in the middle of this Wouldn't open skin area. mimic It's tall grass though. Well, yeah. no, it said, it hold on, hold on. It says Verthani can manipulate the pigments of their skin. A Verthani who stays stationary for one round mm -hmm. gains a plus 10 racial bonus to stealth checks. So if I did a stealth check. Stealth check to hide, though. But then yeah. you have to read that text. Couldn't, now, she, couldn't she hide in the tall grass? You can use conditions, bluff. Conditions, conditions. Yes, yes. But you can use bluff, which is also move action, to cause a diversion where you do a bluff check against a sense motive. It's opposed by a sense motive check. Wow. And then you can get concealment um, in plain sight. Here's the issue, right? There's uh, Here's how I hear it. There's tall grass. Which is it's, not enough. It's it's not offering us cover or high. concealment. So it wouldn't offer me. So yeah. if, if mechanically we had concealment in the brush... Or if you were like standing on a corner or something else of a building. You I also just, or rocks or pause. Okay. I also just read. Oh dear. Uh oh. <laughs> Here we go. A, Ber <laughs> a Berthani wearing clothing or armor yes, that yes. covers more than one quarter of their body. That's 
can't use it. So you have to be in a loin well, you said, well, you we said, said it was the dark we, we loin that, yeah. I forgot to say, let me retcon. He strips down to his underwear. Yeah, and no, then, I, no, that was in my right, notes to fuck, ask you later. Sorry, yeah. I Just, fucked well, up. Yeah. You know what? The fact that you're not wearing armor, I'm going to GM, uh, GM Fiat it and say that you were able to use it. Yeah. Thanks. But now do something useful. Now, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool character moment. Could, but yeah. could you provide anything in the combat? That sorry, we're... it went really cool. Wait. Everyone went, oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, so really? It was a fuck cool off. I thought, Joe, I thought it was great. Thanks. Are you <laughs> criticizing a player for doing something cool that would not be effective in combat? All right, just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway. That was really cool. <laughs> Callum, uh, emotion taking over him, no longer is hidden. His color comes back, and yep. suddenly... Oh, boy. Uh, to his left, where their two uh, jelly boys are. Jelly boys. <laughs> the old jelly boys. Jelly boys. <laughs> I forgot what they were. It's a classic yeah. jelly, ga- jelly boy gang. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I feel like jelly boys work on work on Wall Street. Suddenly, they were in the movie Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Suddenly, uh, a strange, like semi-translucent bubble appears between them. And in the surrounding area between them, the uh, ground starts to shake within this bubble. And there is what? an earthquake what? that happens. Amazing. Uh, so it's a destabilizing event. There's a split second earthquake. Uh, and each creature within the area must succeed at a reflex save or they are knocked prone. Oh. Whoa. Uh, and this spell problem. is called. Oh, no, wait. Oh, they're not, they're not on they're the ground. They're hovering over the ground. Oh, wait, okay, well, I change it. But it's, it's very not, cool, but yes, they it's were. It's not fine. an earthquake then, because I can actually make it anything I want. It's an icy blast. Now we're Ooh. talking. That yeah. comes from an alternate reality yep. where there is only tundra. And this icy blast shoots through this wow. translucent bubble. Single coolest spell that's ever happened in 97 episodes. <laughs> that really wow. is. Really cool. uh, I've never even heard What's of this spell. What's the spell called? The spell is called. Did Infinite... you make it up? I made it up. <laughs> yeah. Can I do it? That's just, that's just David. smart. Yes. Uh, yes. David. Well, no, it's not really a spell, though. It's not really a spell. It's called Infinite Worlds, and it's an ability. That my class has, yes. uh, and I can cast it though at certain levels, creating different effects. So I am casting it at a second level, instantaneous. Oh, I wish I was your class. Yeah. And I'm not going to tell you what my class is yet. No, I'm not asked. That uh, is correct. Joe already message. read it off your screen. I saw it. So, so stop looking. Stop. Close your eyes. So, uh, so what do I have to do? Reflex <laughs> save as this it ice is storm. A, yes, comes it is in? a reflex save. Uh, Yes. All right, these are big lumbering uh, jellyfish. Uh, both of them have to roll it. The ones in front of Captain K. Both yes. of both of them, yes. Okay. The ones in front of Captain K. All right. First one rolls a thirteen. Fail. Second nice, one rolls dude. a seventeen. Pass. Okay. Oh. Uh, got one. Got one. So got one. the top one failed. So that one is knocked prone, and I think for the other one, it's just not knocked prone. So it's be- basically beaten down. Even though it's flying, it's beaten down by this icy storm enough to uh, land it and uh, have it land on the ground, basically. Uh, or de... What's the word I'm looking for when you... De- Depression? Descend? Defly it? Transponder? Yes, it's defly. <laughs> Defran- Transponder. You're not being cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being you cool. You defly it, and it uh, it lands on a transponder. Um, deep plane? Be playing no this. Be flayed. I guess it's not a word. Fall. Descend. 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 Descend it. You you beat it down into the ground. It's it's prone. Cool spell. Uh, It's really fucking cool. That was so cool. Linnea, you see this ice storm just appear out of nowhere. Beat one of these things down enough so that it's on the ground prone. What do you do? Uh, well, so Linnea, this is her. This is her element. Uh, she's been training for this her entire life. So she fighting jellyfish on an exactly, island. Exactly. No, but she Over knows. A gas giant. She knows the all those drills. The, <laughs> she knows the cry of war when she sees it. So she's gonna move up uh, to the yes. uh, to the northern yes. jelly boy, and okay. uh, she's gonna attack. Slice and Do you, you want to try to avoid the attack of our? Oh, that one's prone. Can it take an attack of opportunity while prone? But she has a melee. No, weapon. right? I don't think so. But you didn't. But you. It has ten feet. Of it reach. has ten feet reach at oh, least. Crap. So you moved right up to its 
situation. Well, why do I is always just... end up in this stupid attack of opportunity? But bullshit? do you do Don't you have worry re about it? It's gonna have at least a minus four to hit if it's doing a melee you attack. A... It's prone, yeah. and you also have a ten meter uh, weapon. <laughs> yeah. You need to get right next to it. You That's should be six three. squares away well, from it. Well, I was trying to look up look up how how long my the reach for my weapon is, but I can't find it. Where can, can what's you... it called? No, I'm not gonna say that because then that that's gonna that's but, gonna reveal well, the thing. Well, then none of us can help you. No, and I don't. At least so we're not that's... live. We can edit this out later. Well, but that's uh, that's. <laughs> now you get to see <laughs> well, what no, we edit. <laughs> no, but I. <laughs> These are the moments. I. <laughs> I will say no. I, I will, no, sure it's a big like reveal. <laughs> I will just say this: she's been working on this her entire life, mm. and so she's ready to attack this monster okay. with with all of her might. Yeah. And uh, does she get a plus on her attack roll, Troy? Um, no, it takes a uh, a penalty to its AC against melee attacks, right? Or is it no? Is it bonus? And Pathfinder was minus four if you were prone to yeah. melee. Uh, I'm not sure if that carried over to Starfinder, but I, I believe it's minus four to AC. Prone is minus four penalty on melee attacks. Boom. Plus, plus four bonus to range attacks right. and a minus four AC to melee attacks. Okay, but there's no reason that it can't take uh, an attack of opportunity, take an attack but attack it opportunity. takes it a yeah. minus four, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. It takes a minus four to, on its two, two, two hit. Okay. Two hit, yeah. All right. So as it as you're coming towards it, it just it tries as best it can to slam you. That is going to be a nineteen against. Cack. Doesn't matter. It's a miss. Oh, Ooh. she's so cocky. She's strong. Again, wow. right. now this Doesn't thing, matter. This thing is helpless in front of you. Minus four to its AC, and you're right on top of it. Give it a nice. smash. Come on, Come on. Come on. I really Come on. Want to Don't roll. roll a natural one, dude. Uh, it's going to be 21. Nice. Yes! No, no wait, 23. That is a hit. Yes! Do you want the drop? Do you want the drop? No, 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 <laughs> it's a 23 points well, of damage. 23 points of damage. Nicely done. Way, it's very gorgeous the way she does it. It's like she's yeah. moving in and out of it like as a dance. And she's like, boom, boom, boom. It wasn't like you. You almost knocked your own headphones. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. This hat. I'm not used to a hat. So I was like. <laughs> it was very graceful. And she's not quite the, the dancer that you are. <laughs> she has a lot to learn from me. Right. You're more of an Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, wait. Uh, has, Sydney, you've never seen an episode I of Seinfeld, I know what right? Elaine is we, like. We talked about this. Wait, you've, you've never seen a Seinfeld? Seinfeld? Seinfeld, The Office, Parks and Rec. I've like seen a few episodes. I don't care. How about Jurassic Park? You've been too busy reading the Starfinder I've Pro seen rule. Jurassic Park. Yeah, I was too busy reading the Starfinder <laughs> The oh. past 20 years. Wait, yeah. is this, a, is this an on-purpose thing? This, I think it's out of spite now where I'm just like, everybody has seen it and everybody, like sure. friends too, where I'm like, I'm not going to watch Friends. Yeah. I just don't. That's a good call. You don't need to watch <laughs> Friends. No, you don't need to watch Is it. there like a thing between Seinfeld and Friends? Where yes. Like, no, there totally is. There is. is. Yes. Yeah. One is friends. really good. And the other and one then is there's friends. Crap. And we won't say which one because we don't want to alienate They're our both fan base. Fine. So just did it. Friends They're is both garbage. Fine. Okay. Larry David is was very angry when Friends got the success that it did because it's like he said, like they stole our idea. That's what he said. Really? Yeah. He was very angry. I didn't, I didn't yeah, know that. Huh. Yeah. He basically different. like they adapted our concept and made it more palatable for middle America. What, people affording to live in New York <laughs> Wait, City? Is Larry, Larry, right? Larry David is complaining that Seinfeld doesn't get viewers? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still to this day, it gets one more day, viewers than most anything. I know, I pray, I hope and pray that one day that man will find success. <laughs> 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 Captain K, you're up, what do you got? Uh, you know these creatures are going right after you. Yes, uh, so Captain K is gonna take advantage of the one that has fallen to the ground. Okay. Uh, and we'll take a swing with her Dashko. Come on, Captain K. That's a natty 18. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it is, Cap. Uh, I don't believe it's... Yeah, no no crit. Uh, so that is going to be a 26 to hit. That's a hit. That's 2d12 worth of damage. Oh, man. Okay. Kill it. Let's see what you got. Uh, that is going to be 14 points of damage. Ooh. Okay, okay. Ooh, not bad. It's expecting higher. I, think, yeah, exactly. I know, I rolled, I rolled an 11 I think the look... and a 1. Oh. <laughs> the look Sydney just made, like the... Not bad. I think that's what Linnea does to Kreska, but it also is like, let's have the damage I make. <laughs> <laughs> like, judging immediately, you're yeah, like, so like, that's the hey, captain, hey, eh? Yeah, yeah, there are some beautiful condos on this planet if you want to make it a home. <laughs> no. Or you're welcome to hitch a ride with us. You're basically <laughs> like, I could... I could teach this captain a few things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, let's talk about these creatures here. The one that's prone that just got hit by both uh, Linnea and Captain K, 
uh, and uh, Callum's Ice Storm um, wants to stand up. Um, I'm assuming that will provoke, but can I try to use acrobatics to avoid the attack of opportunity, going from prone to stand up? Because that is technically moving. I believe, I believe I'm believe. i just saying, I'm going to keep doing this until David corrects me, but I think by the rules that doesn't provoke. It doesn't provoke. Well, the only things that provoke in Starfinder are it's leaving moving. a square, yeah. casting a spell, or shooting a ranged weapon. Okay. It doesn't say standing up from prone. Even provoke. Anne is like, yup. It doesn't. I try it right <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so it stands up. Oh, Sorry, dear. I can't take an attack of opportunity anyway. And oh, now, okay. so well, Linnea can. I can. I can. It's going to try to avoid the attack of opportunity well, from Linnea good with luck. this with this dumb ass. C All right, so it's fucking DC on this thing is fifteen plus one and a half the opponent's CR. <laughs> so what is your CR? What is a CR? I oh, mean, your level. Your level. level. Your level. Oh, seven. Seven. So one and a half times that plus fifteen. First person to answer Ele gets a high five. Twenty-six. It's one and a half. Twenty. Six. Wait, one Time? and a half. No, that's that. one and wait. a half. But you, but you round it's... down and. Wait, what was it? One and a half yeah, you round times down. the seven. Yeah. Yeah, so, so it's thirteen, plus, right? Plus fifteen. Twenty-five. We're twenty-five and a half. Right. So twenty-six. Round down. You round down. Um, so twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. Dave is just making motions. Round down. Always no, goes I made lower? it. I made it. Oh. What'd you get? Uh, I got. Oh shit! I got a twenty-eight. Fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> it gets up. It moves away from Linnea and merges with the other oh, one. Oh, no. Whoa, it's just like... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Blah, 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 blah. It's just like the sequel to Pacific Rim. All right, that's really cool. I just want to make sure that's not an action. Because getting up is a move action, right? And then moving is a move action. Is it a standard action to merge, or do I they just have to? It is a swift action. It is a swift action. To merge? Yes. To so merge? Yeah. Oh, perfect. It is. Perfect. Thank you, David. Uh, perfect. No thanks to you, Joe. No, I, no, I'm, no, I'm happy with it. I just want to make sure it was. Uh, I have a question. I love the merge. I have a question. For... I'm a fan of the merge. Got a big merger coming up. Everyone big merge sitting fan. here. You guys having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm having a great time. It's our no. first, first live night, you know people listening at home it's only the second one i feel like we should go long yeah! oh let's man. go long yes! Yes! just a little bit we're going a little long. bit we're going, going long. long going long so good your lungs because we're going long going long it's <laughs> going long the song is going long because we're going long <laughs> I mean, did you just disrespect Nick Lowe? <laughs> no, I did not. I, no, love, I, Nick stopped, Nick, I, I love Nick Lowe so much. I stopped singing and Ellie made eye contact with me. I was like, oh, it goes I'm again. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. Ellie's one character that hits for some damage is she's just talking shit about everybody she can. <laughs> yeah, but that's not uh, true, Grant Rooney. The, the one uh, near Dr. Friss is going to fire a pellet at Friss and hit. Uh, or 25, right, Frissy? Uh, yes. Frissy. <laughs> Frissy from Three's Company. Uh, that is going to be... Uh, 10 points of damage. Ooh. It is then going to move, seeing that what uh, Dax and Qualo have done to its friend, it moves and merges with its friend. Oh, wow. This is messed up. We really can't, good, make, so we can't make them into the big... The like, good big, news yeah. is we only have two to fight now. Yeah, exactly. We only have two fights, but we well, can't... I mean, um, uh, and then uh, that... Oh, I'm wait, gonna I'm going to play a sound for them to merge. Oh. Okay, i got to roll to see if Qualo and Dax get an oh. AO on well, that's pretty good. Do you know what that is? What is that? That's the Garaga call phasing through. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. So that's creative that. sirenscaping. All right, so uh, do I have to roll two separate checks for Dax and Qualo? Well, I'll roll the first one and see. Actually, that is going to be a fail. Wow. Against Dax. But if, okay. it's, if it's only one check to move through a threatened area, uh, it's a fail against both of you. Uh, it, it should be, I believe that it is one. Uh, it's per it's, threatened square. It's, yeah, so if you so if you move through a threatened square that we're both threatening, I think it's That's just hot. one check. Yeah. I'm but trying if you, to think. So it came from here. Excuse me. It's only going to threaten you, and I failed. So you get to... I get a swing? Yeah. Come on, Dax. Because it's moving go. from low to high, so Qualo, it wouldn't, Come it on. wouldn't threaten you. Come on, Daxie McGee! The, the long way swing around. Swing in the, um, the two-handed carbon steel blade. <gasps> Natural 20. Oh! oh there's the crit. There's we the said crit. it. We said it. He was what did I say? Good. What did I say? Uh, All right, so oh, but you know what? Yes! Natural 20. Thank you, Monty. 
Thank you, Monty. Oh, it's the Monty die. It's the Monty die. Rolled the natural 20. That's my father-in-law. He gave oh, me this I die. I like that die. Uh, he's it's a big a fan one. of androids and aliens. Uh, yeah. That is a natural 20. So you will take uh, do, 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 20 points of damage Ooh. and 1d6 bleed. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Ooh. And as Fris already found out, they can bleed. Yeah. They can bleed. And so I didn't double my damage, but if, at least you get that bleed. And if you, you know prick what? them, will they not bleed? Because <laughs> they combined, they are now one. So it's the other one's turn. It will take the bleed damage yes! right now. Oh, nice. So please roll it. Can I roll my 1d6 bleed? Uh-huh. Uh, four. Four nice. points nice. of bleed. All right. Four points of bleed. Okay, so it's pretty mad. It <clears throat> saw that its friend was hurt, and it went to merge with him. So, it is... how long does the bleed last, David? If you could look that up, or is it just yes, uh, it lasts until uh, it's a for, the, until like... you get magically healed yes. or first aid? Oh, okay. So it just it keeps. Was, going. It was like the sharp wing. Yeah. While All that right, happens, so I'm sorry. So there's two separate creatures that are going to keep acting in initiative in the same space. No, it merged with it, but now the other creature hasn't gone. So now it goes, but it now is powered by the other creature that merged with okay. it. Okay. So are they? Taking so now we're just. Turns? One creature's turn is going to happen in that in that space. Right. Yes. Okay. Unless they unmerge. I'm just trying to remember like when to trigger that bleed. Sure. Do they merge uh, hit points? You can't. Uh, sorry, I can't. Well, we had a uh, we had a natty nineteen on the knowledge. forty-three. I, I told you it had dark 40, vision. Sixteen. Oh, you are the worst. <laughs> You're the worst. Uh, it's gonna try and slam Qualo and slam Dax. Uh, Minus four. Another thing attack. is, I don't know how you want to handle this with emerging because this creature started adjacent to me. It takes three points of fire damage. So I don't know. It's the one that was standing next to me, but it merged well, before now its, it's turn. It's, you know, I'll I'm take, so I'll confused. I'll take that damage. No, you're fine. I think they're sharing hit points. Yeah, that's no. what I guess. But. Um. All right. So double slam here and a minus minus four to do two attacks. First one is against Dax. Good roll, but is it good enough? That's gonna be a 24. Just good enough. Oh, okay, damn. but you've got DR. So, yeah, I got DR. You know, uh, eight points of damage. One point of damage. Okay, and the other one tries for Qualo. Shit balls. Fifteen misses. Right. <laughs> that is a miss. All right, so four have become two. We're going a little long. It is going to be Dax's turn. I had absolutely no doubts at all a week ago that we'd be going long. <laughs> I knew it. I, I was like, it's, it's going to be too fun. I get excited. It's going to be too We're having fun. A, blast. There's a lot of people long. watching. And <laughs> um, here's a question. Let me throw it out to you, Grant, because you're my good buddy when it comes to math. Mm -hmm. There's no uh, possibility to crit, really, to double damage. So do you swing twice? I believe in swinging twice. Always. I always believe in swinging That's twice. That's like putting on power attack. It's you not know. quite the same. It's not quite the same, but if you are not, if you can't crit, okay. All right, I believe do it. it. I'll swing twice. So Dax is going to swing twice. But would you no, do that for a person that historically rolls Well, terribly. you give him. Rolling he, rocks tonight, He baby. might roll. <laughs> I don't know. Rolling rocks. Yeah. I believe in you, Joe. Here we go. First swing, 10. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Grant. This is all your fault. Grant, second, don't look at him. Second swing, eleven. <laughs> Son of a beasting. Joe, well, what if Joe, it made a difference? Joe. No, because no. the first one Thank was you. terrible. Joe, let me. And that was a nice let me show play. you how it's done. Grant, you're up. All yeah. right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. It's time for Kualumi. That's what to swing twice. Let's see what he does. Natural one. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh right. the luck oh, has gone. Shit. How dare you <laughs> contaminate me like that? Why did you tell me to swing twice? Fan. Oh dear! Oh dear! And we get into uh, we get into uh, melee ones here. Let's do random. This is Anne from Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> what is Jim Thorpe, he's a very Jim prominent Thorpe. person. He had towns oh. named after him all over the country. <laughs> there's a chance. There's a slim chance that this person is uh, watching us right before they go out to start their day. Sean from Auckland, New Zealand. Auckland, oh. Oh. A New Zealander. Are you watching New Zealand? New Zealand. Oh, that was really Zealand. good. Well, I technically do an Australian accent on the other one, but so Kiwi is a little more nasally. A little bit more old Zealand. That's yeah, so that's sexy, guys. That was awesome. Yep. Thanks, Ellie. Thank <laughs> you. Have Thanks. you ever listened to Echo Quest? Apparently not. She well, doesn't listen. I, She's no. not listen a Patreon me. subscriber. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. She spends all her money on nice wardrobes for our show. <laughs> Can you drop she spends it? all her money on alien hats. <laughs> Cosplay. Uh, <laughs> she spends all her money waiting for Skid to give her a hat. I will. I will. I used to listen to Runes. All right, Sean from Auckland, New Zealand. I hope you're listening. Oh, who is this? 
Hey. Dislocated joints. Oh, it's oh. a good thing I got extras. <laughs> <laughs> I got joints for days. You hear a... Oh, God. Oh, this no. just bothers me. Because oh. I've had it happen. You hear a sickening pop. Cop. You cannot perform a melee attack again without spending a standard action to pop your shoulder oh, or it's other the relevant weapon. limb back into place. That's it, period. That it's it, a, it's a, a weapon. Wow. a standard action before you can melee attack again. I love that bubble! But which arm is it? Good I know. Can bubble. I just toss my moat over to another arm and just jab just forward? Give it I got one rest. in the middle of my chest. You dislocated both shoulders horrifically, and three. that's right. And yeah, that was a... Uh, all three shoulders. And all your little legs. I don't know if I necessarily have a shoulder, to, technically speaking. But we'll go with it. Right, a little crustacean you know arm is. I'm not gonna. Broken. I'm not gonna throw a skid here. But I also <laughs> don't like this fumble. I think it's a great. It's a good fumble. And just you lose your second reading. attack. That's the worst thing. And his name was Sean, right? Uh, yes. Now, speaking of Sean, I want to give a, Wait. a shout out to uh, Sean at Busted Sleeves, who made that cool uh, uh, animated graphic of the Androids oh, logo. Oh yeah! If you're watching us instead of listening, he uh, he made that for me in like uh, you know a few hours yesterday via right. Twitter. Uh, Twitter. Yeah. Twitter. 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 Yeah. Twitter. Twitter. Oh, that's the coolest light talking. <laughs> uh, you, that was your standard action His that bosses, first yeah. attack. So can I use my move? I, I, is it a move action? Can you use the move to pop it back or it's a standard action? It's a standard it action. So it's a really tough fumble. You lose a round. You basically okay. lose a whole round of combat. Two oh. rounds. really. Well, yeah, no, a round. It's too, it's good thing that though that you're engaged in combat with a warrior or such for yeah, now. Yeah, but you can right. still you know you're still uh, uh, growing your photon. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, like you're still on fire. You're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Is he? Let's find out. Round three, Doctor Friss. Uh, all right, Doctor Friss is marveling at this creature's ability to merge like this in uh, a destructor type fashion. He takes a five-foot step to his left. Okay. And he is going to try to do another stealth check. Nailed it. Uh, right, it's just and the shot that's not hidden. It's the shot. That's the most important part. Okay, that is a 23 against flat-footed EAC. Yeah, baby! That is yeah. a hit. You know that hits. You know that hits. And that is 34 points of damage. Oh, wow. shit. And it is uh, bleed. Seven points of bleed. In Seven addition. points of bleed on its turn? Yes. Wow. So now it has uh, multiple bleed effects, but from two different sources. Highest and one. Fire. Highest so it'll one be goes. seven points Seven. of bleed. Okay. Uh, you could just make it flat-footed, and it still takes 1d6 bleed. Uh, I, I will actually... No, us. yeah, you're right. I'll make it... It's flat-footed okay. instead. Little uh, battle feed field tag teaming. After three, after three rounds, you finally get a shot to land true, and it does uh, pretty serious damage. Callum, you're up. What do you think? Another uh, skin mimic? Maybe a wow. earthquake? What? Troy, <laughs> we have a welcoming environment. We want to what's what's funny to. is, though, I've been doing good. Like, exactly, I, I exactly. haven't been doing bad, so you can't hurt me, exactly. Troy. Again, the bar's yeah. real low. <laughs> we all know. You I are know. the GM of this game. <laughs> so yeah. I set saying, the bar. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Insult to yourself. No. <laughs> Correct. What do you got? Correct. I set the I bar care. and the I love bar one. Marry me. What? Marry me, Sydney. What? I will. I will. <laughs> I can this on air. The, I can perform the marriage. No, you oh, couldn't. Wait, I'm licensed true. to do you it. You're sure to tune in in two I'm weeks. I'm an ordained minister. I'm marriage. an ordained minister. I did Joe's wedding. Look Unfortunately, you cannot Ellie, marry look me Ellie. Ellie. No, She's already married. Look, look me in the eyes. Shut up. You can do this right now. We yeah. can elope. Wait, call my husband and I will. ask first. <laughs> Give me his number first, and then I will call him. Oh, actually, I think you're I just going to play a role play. <laughs> oh, my Okay, all right. Moving on, moving on, moving on. She docks her husband. <laughs> just a typical role play. Call my boyfriend. <laughs> they can talk to each other. My, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. We're okay. going long. Maybe they'll get mad. Cal all right, let's Honestly, go. Honestly, Callum, uh, Callum is going to turn towards the creature that is in front of Kreska, the one that is now merged and the one he hit before, I suppose. Uh and is going to do another thing, which is not quite a spell. It's an ability. Okay. Um, it's called Disrupt Creature. Oh. So Callum is going to, in self-defense, because this creature is, is now bigger, closer, he's going to push out his hands, and it's a standard action, and he is all of a sudden within the creature. The, the physiologies of the creature, like the innards of it, start to be replaced by other creatures. Oh! Oh my god! What? So it's swapping in alternative organs, and the creature is going to become uh, shaken, is the condition. Oh, Do I no. get a save, or is it just, that just happens? 
I'm pretty sure this just happens. Wow. I'm reading. Wow. I'm reading. Wow. I don't reading, see anything about a save. No. Wow. I mean, it makes sense. The shaken isn't super powerful, but like at this level to guarantee yes. shaken is and pretty it's beefy. Did you say? For uh, one round. So it's for, for whatever wow. spell I cast it at, whatever level. So I'm just going to do it at first level. So for one round. So that you're is... placing its organs with the organs of other creatures? Other creatures. Random wow. creatures. Oh, oh my God. From so... other planets, from it's other worlds. It's already worlds. merged two physiologies together, and maybe something in that you this were able to really take advantage. Disturbing. It's like that is passing out at a dinner and waking yeah. up with a pig's heart. What child have we saved? Hey, by exactly. the way, this child's going to be like, I, I see look at the, uh, Damien. Yeah, look at the image Damien, that I Damien. used here. This is pretty accurate to what a Berthani Okay, looks he like. doesn't look like this. He's much more... Um... Nope, that's him. Well, for one, I do want to say, he's making him so big on the map, him out, just really. so you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> now, now he's really... <laughs> My name's Kevin. Now it looks like Mark Eaton. Troy's being mean because I'm doing well and he's mad because I'm hurting his little creatures. Yes, Callum. I do want to say, Verthani's, a full grown of Verthani uh, is about eight foot tall. Uh, oh. But Callum is a youth and he's only 5'4". So he's like really not grown into his body. His like limbs are extra lanky. He's very awkward looking. And truly in self-defense, he's not like doing a battle thing. It's almost as if it's not on purpose mm. that he's even hurting these creatures. He just like doesn't even know what to do. And he puts his hands out and this starts happening. Wow. Wow. Pretty badass, not gonna lie. Very cool. Unbelievably badass. What can, what can I, I say? Linnea. What's up? Did you what you just got? move us all around? Not on the map? I think I did. Just You're put yourselves back. You're fucking up our positions. <laughs> oh, just in an effort to make Callum big, I think I moved everybody. So <laughs> move yourselves back. I'm gonna. Uh, Linnea, what do you got? Attack. Attack again. But I'm, okay. I don't think I'll do full attack. I mean, I haven't rolled that well. Actually, I'm gonna do a full attack. Why okay. the hell not? Minus four to both attacks. Oh. They both hit. Yep, yep, oh. yep, yep, Lots yep, yep. of damage. Um, that's gonna be a miss. First attack. Come on. Uh, that Ooh. might be, uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 24, oh, six, three on. against, um. You're fine. That's a hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Good. laughs> uh, so that's going to be the damage that I will use my computer. Uh, that's going to be 22 points of damage. 22 Damn, points of damage. Damn, what is this Damn. weapon? Is it really energy mic. based? Is it like a... Really good damage. What you got it? two new characters don't even know their classes. I don't even know your class. Captain K, whoever these two people are, they might be just what the doctor ordered. Yep, it works on a lot of levels, that joke. Boo. Boo. Look at Matthew. He's like, I'm going to laugh Boo. when I get home. You can see it in his face. <laughs> Once I get home, Saving I'm going to giggle it up. It's containing it. Uh, Kreska is going to focus her psychic energy on this creature's mind. Hell yeah. Hell will you, yeah, Will dude. you kindly roll a Shred will save? It. Oh, yes. yes. And you are shaken, so you take a minus two penalty on that save, on I believe. On the will save? I believe it's on all saving throws. Am I correct, David? Uh... Shaken. Yes, I have it right here on my GM is, screen. Yes. All right. Ability checks, attack roll, saving throw, skill checks. Oh, he doesn't like what he rolled. 16. Fail. Damn. Oh, yeah. That's so much damage. It's dead. He's I rolled dead. a 14 out of the box and way lower out. 100% dead. Uh, Found it. Boom. Nice. That is. He finally Sorry. got. You finally get to do a full I know, I finally get to do a mind roll. thrust. And He's I, not used to this much math. He's not used to this much math. Uh, 27 points of damage. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it's still up? come out of this yet. Yeah, it's still up. No. Oh, it's combined. It has the oh, power of yeah. two creatures. Devastator. How yes. does it look, though? It looks, does it look sad? It looks upset. <laughs> It looks it look, really upset. Look inconvenienced. Yeah. It was just coming Bothered. here to parlay with you until you guys started attacking. It shot us with pellets. It's its turn. That was, those pellets had messages in them. Calcium pellets. <laughs> we have, if you had looked, it said, we are friends. Yeah. We come in peace. <laughs> Let's talk. Oh, right. But instead, you just ignored the pellets and started firing and slashing away. I have all the answers you need. <laughs> um, oh, boy, here. Uh, I think it's time to go to adaptation mode. Oh, get, oh no. Oh, no. They can then merge? Oh, this oh, man. sucks. Oh, Are they going to become one? To one Little. giant boss man. When four become one. But they're so far well, away. Yeah, you can't what do is, that in a move action. And no also, way. what is the... Oh, double move. Exactly. And attacks of opportunity if he moves. Yeah. Too like, All what's right. the... Everybody calm Whatever. down. Uh, this one that is between Qualo and Dax is going to do that double slam again. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try and do that double slam bony. First on Dax. Just, just, da, 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 da. 
Look the, the, the foot. Mrs. Dax. Hell and yeah. And then uh, to Qualo, it's going to be a 20. Don't hit my boy Qualo. 22 against uh, CAC. Uh, that's a miss. Ooh, which is a bummer because yeah. I want you to take this hot corona damage, but you should take three points of fire damage right now. Three points of fire damage. Oh, and uh, 1d6 bleed zone. Mm. Three. Three points of bleed. All right, so three fire, three bleed. Every uh, little bit. Every little bit. And yeah. that full chip, attack chip, uh, chip keeps it there. The other one is going to double move away from Linnea and Kreska and Callum, who has melee weapons. Me. Ellie, I do, but I can't Ellie take a tax of opportunity. I thought Vesk is never on No, but it's a bulky weapon. I'm holding weapon. my... Yeah. I mean, I, Unveiled. I, it's a two-handed weapon, so I'm assuming I can't take the attack. Yeah, you have to change your grip yeah. first. Yeah. Oh, so. oh wait. Uh, if, all right, so this is a tough move here. I want to double move around Linnea. Um, do I have to roll for each threatened square? Um, no, not in one move, actually. Right, because I just have to get out of that first one. Right. Uh, ugh. All right, so you have the same DC as her because it's the same CR, so it's 25. Mm-hmm. I failed, so you get an attack. So Lene gets an attack of opportunity. And do I, yeah? Do I do I have to roll, or is it an automatic hit? Yeah, it's an automatic hit for max damage. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Roll the dice. Um, that's a natty two. Oh come on, Nea! <laughs> oh, that would have been huge. She wasn't that, ready. She wasn't ready for it. That would have been heroic. Would have been huge. Heroic, even is the key word because Drop it just it. now it's gonna merge and get stronger. You could have killed it. Well, Joe's half you right. You know what, Joe O'Brien? <laughs> Joe Seth. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> look at how that hat. The, look at that hat on Grant's head. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, oh, my God. It looks like look, one of those beanies yeah, you with look a like spin wheel. <laughs> <You look like, laughs> like, hey, I, sorry I forgot your paper yesterday, Miss Little Valley. <laughs> That's all right, little burger. I got a little, <laughs> little burger. Grant just put on Ellie's hat, <laughs> yes. and it looks ridiculous. <laughs> Joe, you said it's going to go over there, and it's going to merge, and it's going to get more powerful. You're half right, because it does get over there and merge. But now well, it <gasps> has to roll another uh, uh, yeah. against Callum. Does Callum have a weapon? Against out? Dax. And Koala. And what about Koala? Yeah. Oops. Oopsie roomy, yeah. Troy. Yeah, and, both and, of you. And uh, if you can look this up, David, I believe uh, it's increased by two or it more. It is, yeah. Well, for each subsequent one, yes. Yeah, so increased by two. Take your DC. So what is it, 27? No, you, you get to roll again, but it's uh, I think the DC is now 27. All right. Uh, natural two. All right. For Dax. Come on. I Dax. thought it was just one. Come on, Daxie. Oh. Come on, Daxie. Do it, buddy. All oh, oh, right. Fart. Missed. Fart. And then, uh, <laughs> I'm so. Bummed. Well, I don't know if it made it for Qualo because. 29. It's 29, I got a 30. Mm -hmm. It's plus two for each subsequent for one. For each right? subsequent yeah. one, yeah. All right, so you're right, Dax. It does merge with it, it does get more powerful. But that's not all, because now, whatever this version, this subspecies of the Barathu is, there are now four of them powered into one. And that's enough to make it grow. Oh, no. What are you? Oh, my God. And we'll see you next time. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, my oh, God. Oh, oh. is under it. You're under it. You're just, you're permanently get dead. get sucked into it. Oh. Permanently dead. No. As Friss's gun falls off the edge of the No, I want my gun back. No, the wind from its size. Fucking Jim Thorpe. God damn it. Jim, Jim Thorpe. Thorpe. God curse you, Jim Thorpe. Oh. Thorpe Lancaster. Oh. Good